And hello. How are we doing? Tis 6.50 p.m. on a Thursday evening. This probably won't be a super long street, although we don't know. Uh, I might break it up into parts. Fuck. I just realised I didn't... I didn't check to see my PlayStation settings. Of, oh, well, fuck it. Let's just see how long we go. Um, shit. Oh, well. What I wanted to do is make sure to see if I have my power save settings turned to never turn it off. Um, I'm not sure. But there's only one way to find out. And I guess I can always find a way to just... I don't know. Perhaps, no, I've got an idea. I could just keep this going. I could just hold the right stick or something. Anyway. Uh, we are back again, yeah. Metalweight simulation. 65% goals. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. I would. Th this is not as hard as yes would guess. Th it doesn't get any harder. What's up, Deeks? Okay. So 41 to beat as a preliminary goal, I suppose. All right. What's up, Kendall? Let's do this. Uh, Sim Energy does has way more damage. It takes more energy when to throw strikes, and yeah, that's it. But it's much more realistic than default. Much more. Ah, <laughs> nah, this is not this is not going to make me go insane. I'm good, man. Oh, fuck. Right. Tree trunk. Here we go. Nah, not my guess. Trust me. This is at least more fun than my guess. Because he... I, I mean, at least I can play differently. You know? I could strike. And with my guess, I just had to... Spam head moving every single time. Oh, well, I forgot that the first 10 fires are easier, so we've got to blast through them as, as quickly as possible. That's the goal. Just try to take as, le as little damage as possible. Blast through the first 10 fights and then settle in a bit more. What did you make? Yeah. Oh, my God. Actually, that is a legitimate. Be great, coach. For a second, I thought you meant player. Because I swear I've seen a video where someone or oh, someone modded all the coaches in as players. He's got the clinch. This is fucking 2009 cheese strats right here. Closing the distance, he's got the there clinch, we go. Oh, there we go. Him. Get fucked. Boom. Oh wait, what am I doing? Kill him. Oh, this one is Holy deep. shit! My God. Hold on. Let's uh, let's stand up here. Get the stamina back. And he lets him back up. Nice right Give it up, son. Nice knee. What's up, Jeffrey? Stop doing that. You're not allowed. Oh, that Get done. Oh, I don't understand how he can take so much damage. I know Kendall is kind of weak, but fuck me. There we go. Get fucked. I haven't watched it. I'll probably download it and watch it. I heard Dirt 5 got uh, announced. That's pretty cool. That's a good line up there. And with the official decision... Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has mm -hmm. put a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. All right. I'll watch it later in full. Facing pride. Well, there's no way it was uh, Uke's Bellator, because if it was, it would have exploded.
That'll never happen, man. Well, I say never say never. I don't know. Well, 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 I mean, maybe we'll get UFC, uh, 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 uh what's his face back? Uh, 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 I don't know, Uke's back for the UFC games. But what's his face? Yeah, his contract run, runs out. Yeah, he kept fucking holding it. The ditch, mate, is a conch. What the hell long I spent in loading screens last night doing this? Probably at least 15 minutes. Alright. King of this division. Come on, Kendall. Man, if he had more range, it'd be even better. I mean, he's obviously he's range already, but. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a Jew. And now, yeah. Paul Harris. Hemmelman! Hemmelman! Clutch! Ha ha! Uh, Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. He's shown that he can stay consistent at the yeah. championship level after defending his 185 pound title once already. Give up. Yeah, he's going to be a tough matchup for any challenger that has to face him, including the challenger tonight. Oh, he hit with a big left hook. All right. Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. There we go. Glad you like it, man. This game is always a fun watch, though, I think. Like, I love when I watch, like, Martial Man play it. It's just refreshing. Because, like, it's always different. You can play so many different ways. No. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Now he's pushing his opponent up against the cage, which is going to take away some of his mobility. He's got the clinch. Just, just get him out of there. there. Dude. He did. Oh, fuck. Wait, why am I saying that? I killed him, yeah. Well, I... Bro, I have not actually... I can't remember the last time I dropped someone ever rocked with Ked and Grove. Except with the, uh, the tiny with Paharis. There we go, it's over. There's no surviving that. Get done. What the fuck? Bro. I would have laughed if that put me out cold. Yeah. Fuck it. There we go. Beautiful hook. Oh, he recovers. Inside leg kick. Come on. Come on, come forward, come forward, come forward. Oh, big kick. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh my god, I'm gassing on like the third fight, the second fight. I can do that. But, I don't know. Silver's OP. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll do it. I did one with Jones and Alwood, to be fair. Bro. Oh, come on. I keep getting an accidental body team. There we go. Nice one, Herb. I like how you stuffed your knee in his face. Not like he was uh, already rocked or anything. Bob Sapp is uh, doable. The thing with Sapp is he's really good for half a round. <clears throat> and with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 25 seconds. Yeah. Of the very first round, declaring the winner by yeah. knockout. Uh, I haven't done my... No, I... I don't know if I've got a top of with Pearson, but I have fought Jones with Pearson. Fought Jones with Grove as well. That was a couple of epic fights with, uh, I have with Jones. Right, come on. I, I wanted to say I wanted to get these quick, but... I'm, I'm, I'm being uh, too brawly. I need to just get subs, man. Because this AI is easy, you know? They just go in one direction. Could do it, Nick. Bro, we're forgetting. Sam Stout title mode. Come on. Conor McGregor who? Hands of stone, bitch.
Anyway, everyone, ha everyone, everyone having a good day? I mean, I know there's not really much to do, but... Oh yeah, Rich put me out being in trouble. Coming up next, it's a middleweight... But I didn't get GSP yesterday. I don't know if they if he's disabled in tile, tile defense. Even though he's in the weight class, so I don't think he would be. Is brought to you by Edge Gel. Get your edge. <laughs> we are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the U.S. This man is a Wajutsu fighter. He's dead. And now, really? And okay. when the action begins, our ref are you ready to fight? You should own Kami, Kendall Grove. Right, uh, right up. And here we I wonder. Go. Joe, how do you see this playing out down. for the champion? Fuck okay, it, let's get him down. Wow, okay. After defending his middleweight title on two occasions already. Exactly, Mike, and that kind of confidence makes him hard to rattle. Fighters won't be able to get in his head or God take him out of damn his it. game. Dude. Stop. Oh, fucking hell, Herb, man. Stand him up here. Good call. Thanks, you asshole. Let's see if it gets, uh, I was only trying to work. To -to -to. Push kick. Get him down. There we go. He would not be denied there. What am I doing? The it doesn't matter. I can just, I can just spam. Side control. Done, Joey. Push down the leg. Oh, he's got an arm triangle. It's over. He's pressing down. It's over. Weight. Good job. Nice knowing you, sir. Thank you. That's what I need to do for the first 10 fights or so. I've just got to get them down. And then we'll work from there. Let's take a look at that. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute. 44 seconds of the very first round. Defending yeah. The winner by tap out. I mean, I got the 38 last night. Until Vito, funny enough, got me with a head kick. It, there's a counter here. Three. I got the 38 last night. And this is probably not going to be all in one stream. So it's going to be like multiple streams. But it's going to be like, well, I'll keep my PlayStation on. Check out this cursed image. See if it fits there. What's up, man? It's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Ken. Let's just sub him quick. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. <sighs> and now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a mixed martial. And now, introducing, and when the action begins, our Mike Mike won't last long, hopefully. Mike Swift. Let's Kendall just be Brown. quick. Ha. Huh. And we are underway. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the champion? He's the middleweight champion with three successful Bro, why is... defenses. I think he's... Oh, oh huge Come suplex. On. He's got the arm triangle. Uh, not tomorrow, no. He's it's a Thursday. It is over. It is Sundays. Over. Submission victory. Arm triangle. Sunday at 7. PM, British time. What a performance! He How's it going with it? The UFC middleweight title. Oh no, what's up, man? No problem. Don't worry, I I, I forget the day sometimes as well. It is what it is. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest 
at 45 seconds all right of the very first round. that's what i like to hear due to an arm triangle choke If I remember correctly, I swear in, in 2009, Undisputed, the time would go, would slow down to regular, like to, to, to real time when you were in a submission. I don't know if they still have it in this game. Hey look, Jake Shields. Uh, dude, I was in such a tight Kamara last night from... I think it was Franklin. And then someone else got me in a, in a choke that was... Bisping, I think it might have been, that got me in a choke that was way too fucking close for comfort. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. <laughs> and now, this man is a Gracie, and now... <sighs> and when the action begins, our ready to fight. All right. Let's get this. Round one is on, underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? He's coming in to defend his middleweight crowd. Wow, okay, nice. Fight. How does he match up against tonight's challenger? It's all I've already taken him out with head kicks. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Shut up, crowd. You don't know what you're on about. Did my cardio go so quickly with Kendall? Holy shit. I really... See, I like both guys. Well, I don't love Tony. I like Tony. I kind of want him to win just so I can see um, Tony Habib. Also, Gaethje is a great uh, a fresh challenge. Well, so is Tony, of course. Is Tony, but it's more likely that Gaethje versus Habib will actually happen, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Flash knockout. Let's go. Goodbye, Jake. The spider. Getting it done. I love flash knockouts, man. That is the result of a highlight reel knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds. Even, I love how they got the doctors there and everything. That attention to detail. And still, I wonder who's next. Yeah, that's what I always try. Although right here, I'm just trying to get fights done. When the difficulty, when the difficulty ramps up, I, you know, I, 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 I the reason it's start of defense. You got to be, you know, you have to be. You got to get these guys out of there quick, you know. Like I'm using the tie clinch way more than I normally would, or at least would have success with. Gaethje is a monster. I, don't, I feel like Gaethje is going to be a spark Tony, to be honest. Sweet. Hope you enjoy it, man. Well, we might have a Hendo War. Probably going to have a Hendo Fire sub. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Well, it's easier so far. I mean, I, when, 
Jorge Rivera is a fucking challenge when, when it finally reaches ultimate difficulty. Every fight 30, 30 plus fights in is real difficult. The official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. I love the way damage carries over. Yeah. But for these first few fights, you just have to try and get through it quickly without taking any real damage. Yeah, you, you gotta. It, it, it requires some timing. Wow, nice one. God damn, he is so much harder than me. Like, it's actually depressing. Dude! There we go. Okay. Inside leg kick. Come on, hold on. Dangerous situation. There we go. Nice hold on. Bang. Nice Bang. Oh, He's down. It's over. It should be over anyway. Wait, it's Kendall Gray. It won't be. Of course, it won't be. I'll tell you what. What a chin. It's over. What the fuck? Hold on. Kill. It's over. No, I think Grove was... He, he was a decent fighter. He just wasn't quite on that elite level. He had the tools. He just kind of struggled a little bit to put it together. Yeah, you got to be careful. Uh, same. I don't know how. But hey, EA, you get an EA, I guess. And that's the beginning of the end. Get... I love how they move when you jump on them as well. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... Trucking along so far. You have to set up your shots. The jab is helpful, which is not actually a jab in this game. The default jab is not a jab, it's a, it's a little hook. I found out the other day. The jab is a uh, specific uh, technique strike. Well, not technique, but it's a, it's a unique strike that only certain roster fighters have. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I've just been a gr I'm being really aggressive here just to get these fights out of the way to try and get them done without any damage and while keeping a good amount of stamina. Yeah, uh, my feelings towards the game are very, very slightly softened. Uh, actually, I don't know. Softened slight, softened slightly in some areas. I don't know. Maybe. It's been a while since I've listened to it. Because I was thinking a few weeks ago, that I, I, I still believe the same. I still think the same about the game that was I said in my rant. But I think it's some areas I'm, I'm a little less, I'm a little softer about. Or it's to the point where I just don't have the energy to argue about it anymore. Oh, Campman. Fair enough. Don't know. Don't remember if I saw him last night. Our tale of the is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. I basically had a second rant when I did that fucking undisputed three is better video. And when the action begins, our referee. The last thing about that is I pretty much went over everything I don't like and why Undisputed 3 is better. Well, that's obvious because that's the title of the video, but you know what I mean. What are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? He's beaten a veritable who's who's list of middleweights to retain the belt. Already, he has defeated six top contenders. Well, I don't know if he's facing that low kick. Who matches up so well against him as he does tonight, Mike. Funny because he's not wrong in terms of striking and stature. What's weird is I'm 6'6", but he doesn't look 6'6". I think I think Ukes did struggle a little bit on making tall fighters look really tall. Unless you do the open weight glitch. Okay. See, they, know, they, they stop them in their tracks. There we go. Oh, he 
Oh, there we go. Nice. If I can hit with elbows. My God. Mine. Good. Kill. Kill. There we go. Oh, God. He's not moving. Wait, this is a bad idea. Up. Hold up, yeah. What the fuck? The ref actually got in the way. You dumbass. The hell, Eves. There we go. Beautiful when that lands. Beautiful. That's not cheesy on this game, which is nice. It's over. What the fuck? Oh my god, if I would have landed that. We've seen a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker. Oh, oh come on. Knee. Oh, big shot. He's down. Fuck, I'm going to let him up. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Oh, but he recovers. Joe, this building is electric. What a classic matchup. Look, he's sitting there. He's being wise. Oh, both guys staying in tight. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's over. Good, good night, Martin. What the fuck, ref? Ref! Holy shit! Did you bet against him? Or bet against me or something? That is extra CTE. What a performance. He defends the UFC middle. Look, they're fucking attending to him to get the fucking They're getting the fucking coffin already. No, but seriously, he got He got beat up real bad. At least he's alive. Yeah, let's look at it again. There was certainly bad intention when he throws this one. I mean, what the fuck, man? Bang. Bang. And again. And here's the knockout blow. What a great job. Crank. Here we see it again. Excellent timing on the <laughs> I hate that cocksucker. He took my cash back in Boulder in 83. I was gonna rob this guy's house. But then this this Danish motherfucker came up and shot me three times. Alright. Well. I know. He always comes back. Alright, seven defenses. Back to 100%. So if he comes back again, then it must be his brother. Brian Campman. Yeah, wild. I've seen a couple glitches where the ref never actually gets there due to like being blocked, his pathing is blocked, and you can just keep hammering away. It's hilarious, but also depressing. <laughs> but I also kind of like that it's not scripted for you to just stop. It stops when the ref pulls you off, like physically. Okay, steroid man number two. Super necessary. Well, if I got him with a flying man. Yeah, but he seems to be getting back on track now, which is nice. I know he had the Helwani interview and stuff. I swear he was uh, in a stand-up with police at one point as well. <laughs> they get confuzzled. I just realized, if your record goes up with title defenses, could you imagine what it looks like? You'll have over 100 wins. If you, if you do it. Oh, sorry about that. Bro, eat my elbows. Die. There we go. Of course he doesn't get it. 
the chance be there we go oh, drops him he ate that one he's in big trouble oh. looking to finish the fight holy shit ref what the he fuck covers. honestly it's like it's like people when they fight Kettle Grove they think they shouldn't be they should lose so they just the ref win. thinks it's not possible so they just keep they just keep doing it they keep letting him win or keep letting him survive Fuck it. If I, if I can rock him with this, I'll laugh. Ha. <laughs> Sorry. Under three minutes now. Oh, Fuck, I know you can hurt people with this. And again, there you go. I know oh, it wouldn't work if I do it again. It wouldn't work forever. All right, let's get up. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. <laughs> nice leg kick. Push kick. Holy shit. Nice body kick. Uh oh, probably shouldn't do that. Oh, nice knee. Give up. There we go. What the fuck? Oh, he recovers. Nah, uh oh. Oh, yeah, I love being out of stamina. Bro, die. Oh, come on. This has got to be it. Hold on. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Die. There we go. Oh, shit. Well, he this time actually, you know, he... he, he Wanted to save him from damage. Those whip knockouts are fucking brutal. They see it again. And no question about that one. He is out cold as he drops. Huge victory. H-bomb follow-up. K-bomb. G-bomb, whatever you want to call it. With the knee, and it's nighty night. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. We should call Francis' oh, shots the F bomb. The veteran voice of the Octagon. All right. Bruce Buffer has the official. Ooh, decision. banana. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. Such a waste of stamina. 27 seconds of the very first round. The recipe is dead. Ah, oh, shit, I missed it. Fuck. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Mux. Uh, Mux. Special, I think. Oh, SPL, I think. Ten. Sorry, it's a little difficult. It's probably a. It's probably a. You know, a mix of words. I can't think of the word I'm looking for, although I know what I'm looking for. Abbreviation. Okay, now. Abbreviation? Perhaps. Anyway. Thank you for subscribing, sir. Muchas gracias. Quite literally the extent of all the Spanish I know, except the word amiga and gringo and some swear words. I want to know who's next. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title. Fight the, <laughs> the, winner, the recipe is death. And Paulo Filo. Ah, Paulo Filo. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Oh yeah, I'd much rather do this with Grove than I would Pierce. Because yeah, I mean Grove just a little more fun to use. Paulo Filo, Kendall Grove. 
And here we go. Hey, Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the champion? We've watched him Bye, defend the 185-pound... Oh, I didn't want to do that, but I'll take it. Holy shit, Paula. You're right, son. Quick recovery. I like that, though, the way they can get rocked quickly sometimes. Look at this. If I can... Oh. That, that, that stepping kick leaves you open, man. Right, let's see if I can... Oh, what, what, what? With that low kick. Blimey. Wild. Too wild. But it's also one of those things that you would watch because it is so wild. Ah, I want to go for a flying knee over. Come on. What an exchange here. Oh, damn it. Bro, I wanna I want I wanna hit you. With that there we go. Oh fuck's sake. Honestly, Kendall, come on son. I don't mind it. Huh. Errol Hawani, the greatest striker the world has ever known. This guy's a little rascal. It's over. It will be over in a minute. It will be over in a minute, I said. Fucking hell. This is going splendidly. I really need to start going for more takedowns. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit too striking heavy. Aerial nose. I like that you can use it as a way to get away. Oh, beautiful. Three fights in a row, even as the referee. Yeah, he likes to instigate. He stirs the pot of shit. Look how he throws his body into that. Connects and just... Uh, not really. They they usually they they just said um, this champion is defending for a crazy amount of times basically. But I have a feeling there might be something when you get to I don't know 100 or so. Maybe not. I would figure. I don't know, it might be. No. He usually works Canadian events. I think now. Apparently there is actually, I can't get the planets, they don't have the online trophies, but there is actually a trophy for, um, there is a trophy for completing all the game modes, 100%. So that requires total defense to get to 100. Four game modes you need to complete, 100%. So that's total mode, career mode, total defense, pride, or exhibition, exhibition. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner. Oh dear, old man. Rock Golem. Not even old man. Actually, it is old man, Hendo, still. Kendall Grove, set to enter the octagon. Our tale of the tick is brought to you by Zenergy. Powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now, with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now... Five rounds for the youth. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, Cal. And now, 
Introducing the ch and when the action begins, our referee in you ready, sir? You ready? Dan Henderson, Kendall Grove. Yeah, wait, that'd right. be nice. Right. Joe, give ha. us your thoughts on the champion. <clears throat> He's become one of the most popular fighters in the sport. You got me fucked no up. You think I'm going to fuck him? Even though this is not, this isn't really super, this isn't this isn't really super, super charged head there. Yeah. Streak of wins, especially when you consider that every guy he's fought has been Still hits hard though. There we go. Oh, big right hand. He's down. He ain't that one. What the fuck? Why wow, instant recovery? And he lets him back up. <laughs> I was with fights. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about There we go. Blimey, man. Over the top of that big right. Oh, another one. Whoops. Oh, those are vicious. Oh boy. I got a right hand too, son. Oh my god, damn, what the fuck? Why are you so why are you so why are you mixing it up so much now? What oh, damn you. It's over. Oh, should have been. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I would be sad as well. Watch him survive this. Wow, he actually well, I finished him. What a fucking surprise. Was that Eve again? Or was that Mogliot? Can we see it one more? It, wow, what the fuck? Why is he my ref? For, why has he been my ref for like the last four fights? Is he trying to like fucking pay me back or something? Has a stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of the very first round. I think there isn't much of a worry these days of not going without a game for so many years like there was back in the early days. After a license expired because MMA is so popular now. Hopefully we can get a company doing boxing and MMA. I don't want one company having both licenses and only do it one at a time. Let let Luke do MMA, give boxing to uh give boxing to or leave boxing to EA. I am gonna laugh. If UFC 4 isn't all that much better and it's taken this long. I don't care about the UT cosmetics. In fact, I almost welcome it, but get away because Ultimate Team is wacky anyway. Like, you see all the crazy calves. Fuck it, why not have some costumes? It'll be a laugh. Yeah, the immersion is gone, but to be honest, the immersion is gone when you're facing a 10 foot fuck tall beastly freak from the center of hell. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, kick someone with flippers. Shit, Skyscraper and uh, Tap Out, uh, uh, Punk Ass and Mask were awesome. In Undisputed, they were Easter egg characters. Except I had to input a cheat code. Well, EA don't seem to have the same uh, Ukes mindset, though, I don't think. Ukes ether. No. Philosophy. That's the word. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a freestyle. And now, introduce... There was a survey way ages ago about talking about uh, monster stuff and this, uh, and all that, I... Round one is the thing with those games is they are mostly okay. Like they they do a decent job simulating the sport. Even Madden, and I've heard Madden is not that good. Although maybe I'm mean, just listening to the wrong people. Impressive achievements in the history of the sport. Yeah, when you think of this guy, you think of complete and total domination. No one can find a way to beat him. Oh shit! Sorry, mate. But he got rocked. But man, he's not even this. He's going to try to put in the rear naked and finish this fight right here. He's got oh, it under the net, Mike. He's got it locked in. 
This is good. It's tight. Good night. No, fuck you. He had his opponent stretched out, but uh, still, they should be doing more instead of just yearly, you know, yearly reskins. But hey. All right, guys. Clean break. Clean break. This is pretty much a stalemate. Yeah. Referee's gonna stand him up. All right, they'll go toe to toe once again. Uh, I hope so, and I hope they actually look young this time. Under three minutes now. He's got his back. He takes him down again. Over under control. Man, that knee landed Ooh. heavy. Nice body shots over and over again. He's landing these. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Well, over gets back. back. He's got both hooks in, trying to flatten out his opponent. Fucking hurt him. There we go. Right hand. He ate that one. Yeah, that'd be cool. Is fatigued here. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. There's no way this ref's gonna stand me up for that. Get fucked. Up his... he hurt him with there we go. Mike. Of oh, course. He yeah, it's the UFC 2 model. And the crowd continues to rally behind the crippler, Chris Lieber. Good job hip escaping there, moves to half guard. God damn it. Into the guard, pushes him off with the feet, and he lets him back up. What does it take to hurt you, man? In the range. He's got the clinch. Oh, nice, nice knee. knee. Oh, there we hurt. go, it's over. That one dropped him. Oh. Now looking to finish this fight. I don't know how much more of that he can take. Get fucked. There's no way. Fuck you. Look at him. His fucking his, his head is falling off. Oh, big kick. Fast hands. Good battle inside. He is just just being Done. What the fuck, man? Rosenthal, what are you doing, son? Does everyone hate Grove or something? What a performance! He defends the UF. Here we see it again, Mike. Just leaps in and catches him. Crying. Chin and. And with the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Gaethje is the closest thing to Lieben in the game, and you can't even use Lieben. Or Gaethje. You can't use Gaethje like Gaethje and have success. Oh, I'll never. You just can't. Ten thousand leg damage, did I see? Like, was that a thousand leg damage? Super necessary. <laughs> Who we got next? I don't know what defense we're on now. My God, it's Chuck. Yeah. Harley Davidson. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Uh, Chuck, pro Chuck. This man is a kickboxer. He stands six feet two inches, and now it's reduced. And when the action begins, our Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell, yeah. It doesn't. 
And here we go. Joe, how do you I think it's Prod Chuck anyway. If you're the champion. This kind of high pressure has to be Prod Chuck. Is just yeah. business as usual for him. Yeah, he's faced more numbers. Yeah, you think I'm fucking oh, shit. other fighter who's ever walked the planet. And tonight his opponent is definitely one of the best. But everybody's There you go, getting better. This guy. And again. Well, we can start certainly getting a bit more now. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I look for. But I mean, well, it's a little hard to tell with Chuck because his model looks so similar. Oh, there we go. It won't be over, unfortunately. No. They got me in the game. I would like some sort of ability to customize them, in a way, like in, well, you know, no sponsors maybe, but just designs. That you dare stand me up. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. It's over. Oh, it should be over. There you go. Oh, what the fuck? Why is Chuck so good at this? Ow! 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 Holy fuck! I'm putting together combinations. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Big right hand. Dude. Oh, to the midsection. Push kick. Yeah, I, well, I think if Reebok had like a like would let you pick a design maybe and their team puts it on the trunks with no sponsor or anything just like a custom design uh no i don't think so not ufc4 wow yeah like formula one drivers like sometimes uh will um ask their ask fans to submit a design for their helmet you could do something similar for for uh, MMA truck of uh, Reebok trucks and it's you know ideas to all the Reebok stuff as long as there are no sponsors in there that was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys Mike that round there is why we love this sport so much so that means you could have Silver's trunks you could have Chuck's trunks all that let's take a look at the replay Mike I wonder if they might go with Nike or something, maybe. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. I actually like the Reebok trunks more than the uh, regular trucks. I think they look way cleaner than the majority of trucks. Yeah, you don't get the iconic ones, but I do think they look cleaner in general. But uh, again, I do miss, you know, some of the iconic trunks. Although Silver's still technically out. He's got yellow trunks at least. They look better now than they did when they came out. There we go. Oh, he recovers. Oh, fuck. Well, we don't have Commandant Depot anymore. I figured I would be able to get away with that. Yeah. Bro, Chuck, fall over, man. No, 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 no. He got tagged there. Fuck. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Oh, he's got a triangle. He's pulling down in the head. He adjusts. Okay, not playing around, not playing around. Fucking hell, man. 
These old men keep fighting. They don't. They don't. If that, if Randy Couture's in this game, he would be the most OP fighter in title defense. Referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at two minutes fifty-one seconds of the second round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke and still. Yikes.com Alright, so no more um No more brawling, submission time. Yeah. It's a heat match. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at Good luck, man. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here. Aldo's awesome fun. Uh, he'd probably be great for title defense. Cardio might not hold up too well, but I don't I think he's, he's durable. And he dishes out a ton of damage. Alright, let's do this. And here we go. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. He's unbeaten in countless straight. He's working for the rear naked choke. Trying to finish this fight by rear naked choke. It's pretty deep here, Mike. Switches to an arm bar. It's over. Okay. Very nice. Wow. That's what I needed. What? Let's go, Kendall. Man, I would have loved to play with Ronda in this game. She would have been. She would have felt so nice with those judo throws, the arm bars. Oh. Yeah, I had to. I was running out there. This game, oh, undisputed four. <laughs> oh, imagine if that had female fighters. I, it probably would have as well. Well, yeah, if it would have come out late in the year, maybe. Actually, if it was a 2013 release, I'm not sure. If it was a 14 release, early 14, then maybe. I do wonder if anyone ever finds a way to mod this, like, properly by emulation. Uh, if anyone's ever, like, I don't know. If, if, if someone could decompile it, get the source code or whatever. If that's possible. I wonder if they could ever, like, find the engine that's used and if there's an experienced modeler out there. Try and, uh, or 3D artist rather, try and mod. Try and create new models, add stuff to the game, add female fighters, if that's possible. That would require some knowledge of the engine, but... I'm sure someone exists outside of Ukes that could do it if it was possible. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the US. Alright, Mr. Gona. Oh yeah, he fucked me up last time we fought. And now, this man is a mixed mo and now introducing the champion. Fighting! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh 
Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, you've been given your gentlemen. Ready? Akihiro Gono. Ready? Kendall Grove. All right. And here we go. Joe, how do you see this playing out? Well, if... Um... I guess we'll find out. Does he it could be a mod if, it, if it was able to, you know, his win streak going if they were able to get the source code. Or, you know, decompile it. He's as focused as I've ever seen him, Mike. His training, his Come conditioning. On. He hasn't let all the success change the way he prepares for a fight. If anything, all this top-level competition has just honed his skills there you go. much more. Now get him down. The he wants to double. And he's got it. And he's down. Go to Kimura. He's got it cranked. There we go. Yeah, I think you'd have to get the the uh, Ronda, Misha, Joanna, Valentina, the base ones first. If you were able, if you were actually able to mod them in, yeah, make a model for them. You have to do all the audio and everything, but I think you could. You could use like the generic audio for the fighter, like oh, so and like nickname maybe. All right, that's a good win. Fourteen defenders. Uh, you increase the shape of a certain extrusion and add a nipple texture, maybe. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of them don't actually model the nipple; they just model a general breast shape. I could be wrong. I know some companies do. Rockstar. I don't know if it's possible. That depends how they f uh, format their audio. Not format it, but they might encrypt the not encrypt I think maybe only like might need certain file types I think you could convert them I'm not sure That Mars going to be a tricky one. What's up, Steven? Uh, I got it from the... Uh, well, the MMA Cafe Facebook group, which is now... Uh, then there's a new group. Um, the Undisputed 3 Creations group on Facebook. Uh, I have Qatar winning. Get them. Uh, Qatar winning. 38. 38. Vitor, he finished me with a three-piece. Ended it with a head kick. TRT, Pride Vitor. You know how it goes. Um... I got Qatar winning the decision. This man is a Brazilian. And now, it should be. And when the action begins, our gentlemen, ready? Damian Maia. Yeah. Kendall Grove. And here we Let's go. Fight. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? I mean, can you believe the win streak this champion is? Sure, yeah, I will. You want to talk about MMA legends? I think you can find it if you. Why is Maia so good with this? He did this on my title mode as well. What's up, man? Nice How you doing, bro? Uh, and Garni first round knockout. Or, oh, to be honest, I can see Shay getting it done. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, that ah, okay, okay. Him. No, I, I ain't doing that. Referee's gonna stand him up here. Good call. Mike, they'll go toe to toe once again. Maya is weirdly good. No. That's all good. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Inside leg kick. Under three minutes now. Oh, big kick. Oh, answered by a big okay. body shot. Back to the leg. Nice leg kick. Oh. Big right hand. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. There we go. Uh, I'll. I think it's fifteen. Fix it. 
He's got the clinch. Yeah, KY Meyer. Man, that knee landed heavy. Nice leg kick. Oh, please. Fuck Greg Hardy. Forever. Close it up again, right to the clinch. Alright. There we go. God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, this is definitely when Maya was more uh, striking heavy. That's a destruction. Unless Jarzinho shits the bed. There we go. He ate that one. Ah! Uh, he's not boring like Fitch. Fitch is, Fitch is in his own league of boring. A lot of them think it was actually a knockout. That was very, very close. If you're not going to go, we're outside of his range. I put it in Discord, you can also find Hold on. He's looking for that uppercut, alright? Don't give him the uppercut, would you not? Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Here's that beautiful counter punch. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected oh, whoops. perfectly. That's Lord of that. I think that's the new group. Hold on. That's uh some very impressive striking in that round, Mike. There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Put it in the disco. Domestic abuse, yeah. We start round two. I brought him out. What the fuck? Five minute rounds. Stop, Damien. Oh, big kick inside. Over the top. Outside leg kick. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Okay. <sighs> Fuck me. What's up, tight? There we go. But that's it. It's over. He's hurt. Boom. He's going for the darts. Mike. Oh shit. Man, the cheers in here are t oh, that's tight, Mike. That is tight. Don't usually don't get the darts too often. He's got it. And it's all over. <laughs> what a performance. <laughs> he defends the UFC. I'll make a video of where he just gets beaten in practice mode all day. Take a look at how he set it up. This is beautiful. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 34 seconds of the second round, declaring La Gagnon and I tap out due to a Darce choke. And still... Oh. 
I'll check shot in a second here. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, the dust is red, and it's only yeah, it's only in the right position. Like uh, Kendall is one of the lowest rated fights in the game. Sorry, guys. I was just checking Facebook real quick. Martial artist, but he usually likes to keep the fight on. Kendall Grove making his way to the octagon. This is the Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now, with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the. This man is a Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Milford, Massachusetts. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Maui, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning Hey, thanks, Ty. Sorry, man. I, I was um, I was checking Facebook. I didn't see that. Uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, I have not met a scouser, but I, I can understand so most of what they say. I understand most of what they fucking say. They fucking speak like this. Well, not really. That's more Cornish. It's, it's a little difficult. I can do the thing. Uh, it depends. So I can do a Liverpool, a Liverpoolian accent sometimes, but I, uh, huh. I've got to be in the mood. Not in the mood. I've got to, I've got to practice it for a little bit. Tyson is in ridiculous shape. He's 53 and smacking pads off the hands. People, right? Let's do this. Uh, no. It's MC fucking Nebo, mate. MC fucking Nebo. So many times against so many top fighters. There's never been a more dominant competitor. Oh, blind it. Nah, you won't fuck me up this top boy. All right, fair enough. He's got his back here. Beautiful kill. Great Greco Roman right there. Looking for the rear naked choke finish. Transitions. Transitions <laughs> the arm bar. Well, I'm glad you like it, sir. I don't think I'm going to get this. Maybe. I'm lucky. Yeah. Fine. Submission time. You're damn right, son. I agree. Good coach. There's no way he gets out of this. Get fucked. Tap, tap, motherfucker, tap, tap, tap. Victory tonight. Yeah, Hardy did alright against Volkov. He did better than I thought. Volkov kind of fought a safe fight for obvious reasons. 
Yeah, Greg Hardy is not all that good technically. He's got a lot of power though. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee. Thank you again, Ty. Much appreciated, sir. I think that's the biggest donation I've ever had. Thank you, sir. The very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And And again, I'm not saying bigger, yeah, I'm not saying that because, you know, all the other ones are, are terrible and small. No, of course not. I appreciate every donation. But I don't, yeah, I think that is the biggest one I've had. Many thanks, sir. I could be, I, mm, I think so, anyway. Yeah, he, uh, I think he got rid of it. He got rid of quite a few videos on his channel. Just, I think he just wanted to move away from my dispute a little bit. Uh, UFC in general, the May. Which is fine. That's a huge transformation. I just saw Tyson. Cool. Yeah, we don't talk much, mostly because you know so, yeah, he's a busy man. You know, he, he just you know he likes like fish and all that. But we do, we do, yeah, we we will uh, we'll send each other a message now and again on Twitter. You know, we're still friends. For this battle, yeah, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce like I, I don't like I, I, the, I, I yeah, I, 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 how do I say this? We are good friends. We just don't talk much. If that makes any sense. Well, I have had a video where I showed my face. You can find it if you want. You can try and make me. That was when I had uh, a big scruffy beard, which is coming back again. Yeah, we're still mates. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. I hesitate when I said friend, just because yeah, we're for sure friends, but you know, we don't we don't talk a hell of a lot. So I suppose you know, it's weird because it's like if it was anyone else, I would say we weren't huge friends because we simply don't talk much and we never got to know each other on a deeply personal level. But in a way, we're, you know, we're, we are, you know, I should say, I don't know, deeper friends. Was gonna say, you know, we are more friends than I would be with someone else with equal amounts of communication. If you get what I mean. It's a tricky one. But yeah, we're friends. Okay. Ooh. Uh, maybe the problem is, uh. The the what the only way action OBS doesn't work for me. I mean, it does, but it's got very, it's got it's got stutters and holy shit! I've tried everything to try and fix it and no, I, I, I can never find a solution. It does one potential one, but that requires monitor recalibration, and I really can't be bothered with that. Um, so the thing with action, which is the recording software I use for PC, hmm, nice. It, it can't actually record directly from the Elgato, so it has to record the preview audio, therefore the, the game just the game on the stream is a little bit out of sync and Yeah, I don't know if, I don't really want that to be honest. I prefer it being in sync. Back to that leg again. I like that he's going jab body to the head. Nice. Ah, oh, both just missed. Nice. Just over a minute remains. Don't know why they can't do that. Hopefully in future. Countering and scoring big time. Nice. Oh, big kick. Uh, I think he just lost a few, you know, retired. I think I think he, ret yeah, he retired. I mean, he was yeah, he's he's been there since the beginning. Tough one. Well, not the beginning of MMA, but you know, beginning of tough. Nice legs again. Let's go with that. Uh, 
There we go. Blimey. Uh, I think he might live in Thailand now. Uh, it's Brian Hayes' career mode, one of them. The video that I showed. Ye old face. Let's take a look at some of the action. Oh, to be honest, Mike. half the time, I don't usually have a show on anyway. So, right here we see that that's probably half the reason I don't. Land. Well, I mean, the reason I don't use it as much anyway is because it's slightly out of sync, but even if it wasn't, I don't. I can't be asked to wear a shirt sometimes, so it's, that's another reason I probably wouldn't bother. Some very impressive striking in that I don't round, know. Mike. There, there were some things I would like that I would like to try, but... The beautiful um. Ariani. Hello. To you, my ideas. Maybe. No problem, man. Have a good one, sir. Enjoy. We start round All right, two. Cool. This fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Back to that leg. Oh, nice Ooh. counter left hook right there. <laughs> oh, fine, fine, fine. Our champion is still pretty good. Oh, there you go. Come on. His leg's in trouble. I've got all the blood. Oh, and punishing the midsection. To the body. Oh, that's what I like to see. Nice job there. I'm running out of gas a little bit. Got to be careful. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Swift's pace has slowed down here. Get him to the leg here. There we go. Dangerous situation. Put him against the fence. Got him clinched up against the fence. Oh, nice, nice knee. knee. Well done. Oh. Gotta be careful. Oi! He almost got me. I suppose I haven't played them. I played Fight Night Round 4, but I didn't know much about it at the time. Boxing. Besides, you know, they punch each other. Ah, uh, so it's running out of gas here. So am I, though, so. Good leg kick. Oh. Come on, Kendall. Just over a minute remains. And now he's answered. Oh, to the midsection. Under a minute remains. There we go. Let's get... Oh, okay, well done. I'm trying to land those elbows, but... There you go. See if we can... He's going to try and land the knee, but... There we go, back to the leg. Who's that counter? God damn it. I wanted to go for a flying knee, but... Absolutely, Mike. That was straight up yeah. domination. Okay. I don't want you looking at him. I want you step jabbing with the quick jab. Okay, he's got nothing. <laughs> Jeffrey Jeffries. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. That was a great. After you angle off, fire on. You own him when you spin him. You understand? When you angle off. The beautiful Shandella gets us set for round three. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a okay. championship fight, so it is scheduled for five. Uh, this weekend. Five minute rounds. What an exchange here. Man, good exchange between both these fights. When I say two-week break, I guess I mean there's a uh, a week body. break. But, like, there's two weeks between the events. I think so. Well, he was last time. Yeah. You can't go to the boogeyman, though. 
which works. He can beat up his body. Up oh, there, that leg again. Joey's looking for some control here. He's got double underhooks. Are you sure? He ain't that one. Man, they're pummeling back and forth. Oh, it's hard man. to see who has the edge here. Ref. I, I guess, yeah. He's staying on top of them. I think so, yeah. The position. Back to their feet. Okay. Shit. Okay. Beating him up here. The stamina is not there. Fuck. Well, we can't lose to, to fucking Mike Swig. Nice right hand. Back to the there you go. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Nice knee. He's got his opponent up towards uh, I'm the not fence. sure. What the fuck? Weird. I think we're about 60 then, maybe? 17? There we go. And he gets his opportunity and he jumps down. He's in the guard now. Big elbow. Fuck, it's not quick enough. Come on, Kendall. There we go. Just needed one shot. Good it. What a performance. He defends the UFC. What what is this? Title. Oh, I see. Think so. Yeah. Here we see it again, Mike. Just flying knee to the jaw. No question about it. And here we see it again. Just an incredible amount of torque you put. Motherfucking out, Cole. Yeah, uh, they unfortunately they had him in 2010. They didn't put him in three. Although I think they were meant to be added by looking at some dev tweets. I always thought that was a broken heart. The Nevada State Athletic Commission patch, but no, it's two fires. What def How many defenses are we on? Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep going through it without checking. 17. I've got to go for more subs. I need to check my goddamn head thing. Head damage. Cool. Oh fuck. This is a problem. Okay, this is trouble. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by UFC. This is UFC Silver as well. Sweet. Now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And 
now, this man is a Muay Thai. And now, introduce as when the action begins. Are you ready? Are you ready? Anderson Silva, Kendall Grove. I gotta find a way to get this over with. And here we go. Hello, Anderson. Nice knowing you. Sorry, mate. You know, really, the number of times he's defended that title is pretty staggering. Yeah, I don't know what the challenger is playing tonight, but it would shock the world if he managed to take the yeah, belt nah. away from the champ. And again, big one. It looks like Silva's coming. Fucking hell, let's, let's get him there. He's staying on top of him. Could be careful of his triangle. There we go. There we go. He looked hurt. Well done. My stamina is shot already. Show the crowd favorite, the spider. Anderson Silva. Oh, fucking hell. That was a big elbow. Oh, okay, do not get submitted. Yeah. No, no GSP yet. Oh, fucking hell, ref. Beautiful hook. Inside leg kick. Fast hands. Good battle inside. They are both staying in okay. tight, close, right in the fire. Push kick. Oh, big kick. Nice leg kick. He, he, he has his hands down a little bit. That's what I was kind of trying to hope I could get. Come on, Anderson. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Look at that taunt. Fucking hell. Almost. He's hurt. It's kind of weird seeing Anderson go down, like, even in a game. <laughs> I could probably. I mean, Sharp is a little better. I mean, Sharp is better than uh, the problem with heavyweight. There's everyone here so hard, but I think I could. I could. It's better than Grove. He's more powerful. Obviously, he's heavyweight, but still. Uh, uh, the best way is to use the uh, the logo creator if you want big tattoos, or at least try to make bigger tattoos. We start round two. Well, I could probably manage that. For five. Five minute rounds. Oh, yeah. Outside leg kick. Ooh. There we go. Good body shot. Remember that? Nice. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Come on. We're seeing a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker strikes here, Mike. You can throw bombs all day, but if you're getting tagged by a faster all fighter right. coming in, it'll throw you off over and over. Come on, Anderson. Wow. Excellent combination. Nice counter right He is hand. so hard compared to me. Fuck it now. Buy me. Guys banging on the inside, Mike. He ain't that one. Oh, and punishing the midsection. <sighs> nice outside leg kick. What a chin, man. What a chin. Two minutes remains in the second. Oh, 
Ducking in and counters yeah. that nicely. Trying to punish the midsection. There we go. Holy shit. Well, I couldn't get the front kick, but... I put him out cold with a right straight. He fucking folded almost. What a performance. He defends the UFC middleweight title. Let's see that replay. Yeah, let's look at it again. There was certainly bad intention when he throws this one. It's almost like the way Rashad fell. Rashad face. Shut up, mate. That was popular. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 20 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Kendo, the spider. Eighteen defenses. Let's go. We're all good. Ninety-eight percent stamina. Oh yeah, fed it a carrot. This will be number nineteen up here. Well, the reason he lost to Steeper the first time is because he went berserk and chased him. You know, reached with every single shot. I've seen an episode or two of it. I like the idea. Maybe GSP, who knows? I keep saying that. Oh look, Chuck again. Kendall Grove and dangerous striker Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell set to enter the octagon and attempt to capture the belt. Liddell has one of the most famous fighting styles in the sport. He keeps the fight on the feet and looks for the knockout. He has fan. his way to the octagon ready to defend his ufc our tale of the tape is brought to you by ufc store the sport lives here and now with our official introductions bruce buffer and now five rounds for the ufc this man is a kickboxer he stands six feet two inches ha, and now that's not... i have seen a couple of his things uh, i'm not doing a one overall title defense yeah, Steve Bates about a fire, yeah. I'm just saying, he gassed because he went and completely blew his gas tank. I mean, he probably would have gassed anyway. He gassed earlier because he kept chasing Steve. Steve. Chuck Liddell, Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? Okay. After being the middleweight champion for so long, you have to wonder yeah, no what thanks. keeps him motivated. Since he came to the UFC, he's worked towards... Oh, there we beautiful go. Play. Let's see if we can get him. He's got the arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. Don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. That's what we needed. The victory. Arm triangle. Submission tonight. What a performance. He defends the UFC middleweight title. Let's go, Kenny. Uh, Let's take Kendall. a look at that again. See how he locks it in, Mike? He's pushing down with his neck and his... He does, and he rambles for hours. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the U All right. Back to 100%. 19 defenses. Oh shit, the bad guy. Between Ultimate Fighter winner, Kendall Grove and Chael Sonnen. Triangle time. Our Tale of the Take is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official interactions, <laughs> the veteran voice... Tony Ferguson fears Charles Bennett. ...is Bruce Buffer. And now... This man is a fella, and now, introduce... Let's do this. ...when the action begins. Are you ready? Are you ready? Chael Sonnen, Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, what are your fight. thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? We've had the best... Fucking hell. ...as we have watched this man evolve from talented rookie to champion... RNC, I've decided. He's working for the rear naked choke. Trying to finish this fight by rear naked choke. It's pretty deep here, Mike. There you go. Round one, submission. That's what I needed. I'm sorry to dash your hopes and dreams, sir. He defends the UFC middleweight title. I know it's like to see your favourites lose, but I had to do it to him. Yep. If I can get to 50, then that's where shit starts getting serious. Because then it's like, okay. It's getting, it's getting real now. Honestly, if I do get up there, I am going to completely abandon striking and just go pure grappling. There isn't much point. Uh, there, there's no reason not to. I can't afford losing my knockout. And I have to minimize the chance of getting uh, done in by Flash Knockout. Yeah, Felony is an interesting one. We are part of the way there. I love how this one keeps what you have in the this box. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight. Hello, Mr. Alan Belcher. It has been a while, sir. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. 
And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a free... And now... I don't hate him. Although his tattoo is terrible. Alan Belcher, Kendall Grove. But everyone sort of rags on his tattoo, doesn't it? And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove right. coming into the octagon tonight? This man comes in tonight as what can only be described as the most dominant champion. See if we can get him down. All time. He's definitely the undisputed ruler of the octagon right okay. now. Mike. Huh. And he That's has awesome. been for quite some time. There we go. Power of the takedown there. I wonder. The arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Yeah. Yeah, he did face Will Harris, yeah. From well, ground and pound as well, basically. <laughs> and with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle. That's pretty cool. I didn't know he had a gym, man. Okay. And we continue on. Yeah, I remember. I saw the finish, actually. Uh, Rogan's commentary was excellent. Click the glasses here. Wait, I just did that. Oh, well, I'm doing it again. Fuck it. Was that a while ago? I'm bloody now. Yeah, it does. But I think the strategy can still be implemented. I wonder, watch watch Defense 100 be GSP. How poetic would that be in a way? The big the big final boss, the GOAT. I mean Silver would I mean I've beaten Silver. Like, GSP is by far the toughest fighter to beat with Grove, I think, because he's so well rounded everywhere. And he has great moves, you know. Jones spins a lot. There's opportunity. Silver, he spins a bit. He's, uh, you can find ways to get him. Okay, let's, let's not take court easily, because every time I take one of these guys a little bit lightly, they smash me near an inch of my life, so... I'd rather not. <laughs> 100 overall Dana. Dude, Dickweed McGee drops the middleweight. Fucking invades title mode. Title defense, like, bitch, you thought you were winning. You thought you were getting 100 defenses. And now... This man is a free and now introducing the chapter and when the action begins, a rep Court McGee. Okay. Absolutely fuck striking. And we are well, maybe. Joe, how do you see this play? Ah, uh, <laughs> nudge. He enters the octagon tonight, riding high on an incredible win streak. A streak that's one of the most, if not the most impressive uh, I'm done. in the Fuck history that. of the sport. It's not worth yeah, it. Yeah, when you think of this guy, you think of complete Come on. and Come total on. domination. No one can find a way to beat him. Oh, there we go. Beautiful suplex. Looking for the arm triangle. I don't hmm, this one isn't going to land, I don't think. Okay, well, we'll have another chance. We've still got full stamina. He's pressing down. Not a bad go, though. Wow, great job oh, he yeah, he's a character. Full guard. Let's go, let's go. Jesus. Okay, he's starting to do Such ultimate reversal now, which is nice. I can time. He's hurt, Mike. He's hurt bad. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. <laughs> I know. And back to full guard. Pushes him off of the feet. He caught the leg. Right, man. Jesus, this man. Well over two minutes remain. Timing it well. I haven't been hit with an intercept knee yet, but it's gonna happen at some point. There we go. Nice Fucking right. hell, man. Oh, body shot. 
He hits hard. Okay, fuck this. He shoots. How they're gonna close it up again? Right to the clinch. Oh, belly to belly again. Half guard. Watch court get me like beat me by submission or something like that. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Postures up. He's in the full guard here. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Man. There he goes, Back Joe to Mount again. Cool. Job, hip Stop, man. There, moves to half guard. Big right hand. He fucking hit me hard. Seconds remains in the round. He's in the full guard. Oh, oh shit! I'm low on stamina. Cool. Kill the fucker. I mean, Kendall. Wow, right. Uh, middleweight was on the Ultimate Fight. Uh, mm. I think he might have been on Tough 14. Bisping and Mayhem Miller. You uh, overcame a drug addiction. Worked so hard. Like he, I saw, I, I follow him on Instagram. He, he does crazy paces on the bikes. He is a badass. We start round two. This fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. McGee is bleeding. Hey. Into half guard. Well, maybe one day. He's looking for a Kimura. He, he's got it. It's over. Here, Mike. He's going to crank it up towards his head. He's in bad trouble here. It's over. There we go. It's over. He taps. Wow. I love how the ref gets in there quick as well. Now, as soon as he gets the These celebrations just look more like they were done by a real human. And with our um, decision, here is Bruce than Bradford. UFC Ladies 3, which look too... I don't know, they just look disjointed sometimes. This contest at 39 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Kamura. And still. Alright, 100%, 100%. 11, okay, yeah. What, what, what season was that? Ah, Liddell Ortiz, okay. Title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Hello, sir. Uh, in real life or the game? I don't know. Years of training, maybe did his knees in. Kendall Grove set to enter the octagon. Our tail of the tape is brought to you by Dodge. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now. Five rounds for the UFC middleweight championship of the world. Injured, this man is a judo fighter. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 108. And now, introducing, and when the action begins, our referee in charge of this company. 
<laughs> What's up, Mike? Kendall Grove. Round one is underway. Joe, right. how do you approach this fight if you're the champion? Why are you booing? He put his gloves down, damn it. We'd already finished. As usual for him. Yeah, he's faced more number one contenders than probably any other fighter who's ever walked like the planet. Him. And tonight his opponent. Oh, there we go. Oh, huge suplex. Okay. He's in guard here. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, he lets him up. He shoots well done. In. Tough to do in this position with the cage that gets a takedown. Beautiful. It was a little bit of leverage, Joe. And this fight ends up on the ground again. Wow, really good, really good job swaying there, Akiyama. I need to go to the body more, honestly. Pushing his opponent away. And he lets him back up. Looking for the takedown. Just threw him away, Joe. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Out. Looks like Ooh, nice. Fast hands, good battle inside. Okay. Nice kicks. Oh, well done. Yeah. Oh, blimey. No. Oh, they're exchanging here. Two minutes remains in round number Bang. one. Bang. Back to the legs. The, oh, oh, shit. Well done. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Okay, we got, we got to get him to the ground. Let's regain some stamina here. Oh, Fuck. Drop. Yeah, got it. All right. Very nice triangle. Man, Joe, that was textbook. Needed that. Locked it in, pulled on the head, cut off the blood flow. Good night. What a performance. All right. On to the next one. Executed triangle choke. As soon as he locks on this I fucking love that animation, man. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of the very first round. Grab to go. By tap out due to a triangle choke. Uh... Let's see here. What's the streak? 21? 23, blimey. Everything back to 100. That's what we want. What was that? 900,000 shot points, blimey. It will be next fight, as long as we win. Oh shit, Nate the Great. Yeah, which I think is his best look hair wise. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now. Five rounds for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger. This man is a mixed martial artist. Hey, almost a mill. Introducing the challenger. Was Mike what the King of Pancras? No, he wasn't. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, six inches tall. Weighing in at 180. Oh, oh wow, he is. Fucking hell. Three time Pancras champion. Fair enough. I mean, he has been fighting since 99, so. Well, 
Wow. Okay. Mr. Grove. Let's do this. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? He's fighting with supreme confidence. Fine. Beaten in countless straight championship fights. Yeah, he seems to be on a completely different plane from everybody else. He's facing a very strong challenger tonight, but the odds makers still have him as a distant, distant uh, Mark favorite. Walton, King of Pancras. Well, I don't know if Champion of Pancras and King of Pancras is the same thing. If it is, then yeah. Fuck. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Two in a row. Can't just dive in like that, man. Got some fucking bendy hands. What a performance. He defends oh, sorry. the UFC. Maybe it's the way I say it, Mark Ward. Mark Ward. Yeah, I like that. And Joe, when you Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And still, the UFC middle... Yeah, well, Grave, that try, guys. Extremely useful. I'll be about to be sitting on 900,000 shot points. Never mind. How close can you be? Fucking hell. I guess next fight. Unless I lose. Where are we at now? 20... Where are we at? 24, okay. A cool two hours in. At this rate, it'd take about eight hours to do it. Maybe say four a day. All right, Maya, the heavy-handed jiu-jitsu player. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now, with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. And now. Uh, if I had the game, I'd probably give it a go. <clears throat> Although, I am starting to wear thin of extremely difficult games, and not because they're bad, but I, I think I've exhausted it a little bit, my resolve. I mean, I'm sure I'd probably enjoy it, though. And here we go. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. I guess we'll find out. Does he still have what it takes to retain his belt? Well, there you might. Keep his win streak <laughs> going against another I love that setup on something. I love the recorder of us. He's as focused as I've ever seen him, Mike. His training, his conditioning. He it actually sometimes relates to the, the fight. I'm like, yeah, you have All this top level competition has just honed his skills that much more. He is just coming away. He caught the leg. What an exchange here. Oh, big left hook. Followed up by the i got to be careful of that. Damian Maya switches to the orthodox stance. Okay, careful now. Get the cardio going. Oh, big kick. Inside leg kick. Bang. Oh, head kick. He caught the kick. Bang. Nice, nice. Able to follow up with that. Okay. Two minutes remains in round number one. I don't think I have a dodge knee, but I wish I did. 
mixing things up. Well done, Damien. Two minutes remains in round number one. Pushes him off of the feet. All right. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Inside leg kick. Under nine. Oh, he's going for it as well now. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Nice knee. Yeah, I love this in Tokyo as well. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Oh, big shot. Oh, there. Boom. Oh, he's going for an arm bar. Joe, this building is electric. What a classic matchup. Oh, he rolled out of it. Very nice escape. Looking for the arm triangle. It doesn't look like he's got it. Terrible idea. Oh well, end of the round. Points. Fuck! Why is Maya such a good striker? Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, you're Japan. Oh, you're Japan. Fuck, you know. You're Japanese, huh? Let's take. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the street. Okay, fighters, you ready? You ready? We start round two. Let's this fight. fight's scheduled for five. five Dude, rounds. give it up. Domination. Grapple more, damn it. Let me win. Dude, what is this fucking onslaught? This is ridiculous. Okay, hold up now. I've got to be careful because I, I don't like how much I'm getting hit here. He caught the leg. I think we're going to have to see if we can bait out a flying knee. Oh, there you go. Knee. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's recovered. Oh, but he ate a left hand Dude, left. that left hand is dumb. Powerful. Ah, okay. Interesting. It's over. It's over. Get done. It's over. It's over. Fuck. That's awesome, man. Jumps all over him from this position and just starts dropping some serious punches from the top. He gets over him and just finishes the job. Look at it from this angle. has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the U.S. Okay. I didn't have much damage then, I guess. Oh, after I've got quite recovered here. Yay, 900,000. Let's go.
Yeah, <laughs> it's an elaborate guard pull. Ah, okay. Yep. Love Abba. Love Ikea. Hopefully we get some new soon. Yeah, play maybe I want to look at. He is, yeah. Dragon Ball Jiu-Jitsu. I also hope it's like Arnold's Beauty 3, but EA's ethos is not Yuke's ethos. Or it's not their philosophy. So, I doubt it. Also, Anderson Silva. Shit! This is gonna be a little tricky. It's not UFC Silva, but still. Anderson Silva, Kendall Grove. Let's do this. And here we go. Fight. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? I mean, can you believe the win streak this champion is on? You want to talk about MMA legends? You're looking at one right now. Thank yeah, you. It. Gold it. It's been pretty surreal following his career and having I like that from Anderson. His fights. It's going to be a while before we see another competitor in MMA of his caliber. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Oh, he just teeing off on the rib cage. He caught the kick. Okay. Oh, look at those unique sw uh, unique sways. There we go. See if I can. He's working for the rear naked choke. The RNC, maybe. Trying to finish this fight by rear naked choke. It's pretty deep here, Mike. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Got it. It is all over. Winner tonight by rear naked choke. What a And still. As soon as he gets that. And with the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this. Yeah, let's go for the submission. Because Kendall's got some nice subs. Bigger, 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 bigger. I can probably get Anderson. Especially Pride Anderson. Keeping that damage low, that stamina high. 100%, zero damage, 22 defenses. Let's go. When we get to 30, it starts heating up a little bit. 40 is like, oh shit. This is going to be, this is going to be... When you get to like 35, 40, it's just, you've got to settle in. you got to just find a game plan, stick to it. Adjust it, of course, based off the fight. Up. Whoops, sorry. Dude, Lewis is a lot. Derek Lewis is a great record. 23 and 7. And one draw. No contest. It's a middleweight title fight between oh, yeah. Got it on Anderson in pride. Mike Swick. This man completely battered me a little bit in the floor. He got battered someone completely a little bit. He hurt me in our first fight. Tonight. Yeah, some of these guys are not as easy as you, as you might think. Uh, I've underestimated, not underestimated, but maybe I've taken a couple lightly, a little bit, and they're, they're hard, they're hard to fight, man. I mean, I beat Swig. I mean, he was gassed and all that, but he's durable. He's durable, and he's tough. Hendo's a fucking, he's a fucking statue, a Maui statue. He simply does not die. What can we say about this man? Nothing yet, but when I... I mean, it's, it's COVID-19 and all that, so I figured it would take them a while to get a dev kit. Yeah, there you go. Take his ass. Ah. 
He is Trekker, yeah. Very nice escape. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Fair enough. And again, over and over again. There you go. Well, go for it again, I day. Fuck. He's got his back here. Outstanding yeah, go. Go for it again. Uh huh. We're in trouble here. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh well. Uh, okay. It's alright. We just got to get back to Butterfly. We'll be alright. Uh -oh. Yikes. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Get off on him. Are we slapping on a triangle? He's holding down, down the back. The yep. He's got some pressure on it, Joe. Man, I just make that little mistake of a flick. I don't think it's quite Fucks me up. Oh, as long as he doesn't go for a submission, I won't be too upset. 45 seconds remains. Pushes him off of the feet. Alright. Back to the feet. Oh, big kick. Oh, big kick inside. Oh, he's hurt. That one dropped him. And he gets his opportunity Fuck. and he jumps down. He's in the guard now. Oh, nice knee. Ah, I tried to go kind of crazy at the end there. Anyway, Gage, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys will be the first to know. Um, I'll share it on my Discord as soon as I get information. And I'll make a video as soon as possible. Fuck it, I'll check my emails. Who knows? Maybe for s somehow I get an email from them. I doubt it, but no, not yet. They always tell me to throw more kicks. I don't know what you are doing. Why are you saying this? I mean, I, I mean I'm throwing many kicks. Hey, enjoy, man. Have a good time. Have a good one. You too. Stay safe, man. No, I don't think it's possible. And if it is possible to rock them, though, I don't think you can finish them. I need to start going with that. There you go. He's got his back. Got to take down every time. Going for over under here. He ain't that one. He's in the full guard. Pushing his opponent away. And he lets him back up. Oh, answered by a big boy. Okay, I like that jab uppercut. Inside leg kick. He's got his back here. Stay up, stay up. Good take down. There we go. Got the over under here. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. Haymakers. Bang. Outside leg kick. He's got his back here. He's got the takedown. He's in the guard now. Hold on. Goes right into side control. Big elbows and punches from the top. Okay. Back to side control. Half guard. Okay, we're, we're, we're on ultimate now, basically. Come on. Two minutes left in the second. Oh, big shots from the top. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Yep. Nice leg kick. Back to the left. Okay. He's got his back. Oh, and again he goes for a ride. There we go. Oh, there we go. Fine ground and pound from the top. Nice punches from the top. He Lucky hurt. fucker. He again, oh, he can take a shot. Wait for the stamina to come back. He's in guard here. Sweet, not too much of a submission threat off his back. Pushes him off with the feet. 
There we go. Flying knee. Ah. Oh, I got that at least. Okay. We're going to get him out of there. He's hurt. He's hurt. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Who? Swick or? Yeah. He is resilient. Then again, Grove isn't all that strong, so. You kind of have to. The problem is, volume isn't. <laughs> you could do volume. Uh, but on the ground, it's tricky because he doesn't start to have that much power. But yeah, you have to. But you can do volume, yeah. But you can't do volume with power shots. He's got his back here. Again, he takes him down. In full guard. Pushing his I, just, I just double up on that elbow, I think. Inside leg kick. Just him. <sighs> yeah. He's got his back here. Oh, belly to belly again. I, really, I need to go to the body a bit more, but it's risky because. There you go. It's over. It's over. There we go. Love those elbows, the animation. They feel so good as well. What a performance. He defends the UFC middleweight title. All right. Here we see it one more time. Who's next? And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine busted up real good. To this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world, Kendall the Spider. Shit! I thought I'm gonna get in my world. Yeah, if you have elbows from half guard, you can use them from the rock position. Twenty-seven defenses. Let's go. We're almost at thirty. Oh! Look at those, man. Beautiful. Oh, look, it's Eve again. <laughs> this soundtrack, too good. Chuck again. Chuck Liddell set to enter the octagon and attempt. Mr. Lydell, eh? Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Now, five rounds. This man is a kickboxer. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185. And now, introduce. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this con. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Chuck Liddell, Kendall Grove. I will, yeah. Snowman. Are underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon? He's hurt badly. He's down. Oh, beautiful fly. 
fucking hell. Hold on. Submission defense. Jesus. Okay, I fought leaving a few times, yeah. This is exactly like the fight that I had trouble with last time. Back to butterfly, we gotta hold base for a little bit. Okay, yeah. They try to get up. Yeah, that's uh. Okay, we cannot sit on the feet. We gotta go immediately for the ground. Sorry, Chuck. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Bang. Back to side control. Ah. Back to full guard. Two minutes remains in round number one. There you go. Oh, fuck. Of the feet. Okay. He's got his back. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. What's he going to do? Take me down? He fucking did as well. And he takes him down. Just about one minute remains in the first round. He lets him up. Liddell's cut here, Mike. Oh, nice left and a right. Inside leg kick. Okay. He shoots. Good takedown defense. Oh, we got tangled the hook. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Kill him. Uh, superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well rounded guys, Mike. Damn you, Chuck, you hard bastard. They make before going into the next round. That is so not Ray Lunga. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. I'll get him. I'll get him. Yeah. There's no reason to panic yet. We're good. The beautiful Ariani. Get you ready, sir. You ready? It's just we just gotta stay calm. We start round two. Get him down. This fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. There you go. He's got his back here. Love that takedown. Push kick. Both guys banging on the inside, Mike. Okay. There we go. Half guard. Can be try there we go. Transitions to the full mount. Able to posture up from full mount. Chuck, you are not gonna hand on me. He's got both hooks in. Joe, this is dangerous. It's over. It almost should have been over. Dude, rock him! There we go. He got rocked, but man, he snapped that quick. He's got both hooks again. Three minutes remains in the second round. Oh, that's a perfect way to get out of trouble. Just go out the back door. He caught the kick. Joe, that big kick absolutely Wow. Smart. Yeah, he kicked his legs out from under him there. Very effective technique. You're not going to veto me, son. The clinch game once again. Oh, wow. There you go. The power of the takedown there. In the half guard. He's in the full guard. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Pushing his opponent away. He shoots in. Yeah. Ah, okay. I did. Man, that knee landed heavy. Just over a minute remains. 
Go on. Lucky fucker. Huge left and right. I got, I got flying A. Flying A. Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that again. Fuck you, you lucky shit, Chuck. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Oh, answered by a big body shot. And he answers. Body shot. Oh, big kick. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds. He can take some fucking shots, man. He's hurt, though. By the way, his, uh, his eye is going pink. Around his eye, that means he's hurt. Why, bro? Why are you telling me that? Seriously, I, I, give me some other advice. Let's check out. Finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? And we are set fight. for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. I'm trying to bait that too much. Yeah, not this worth it. Back here. Huge suplex. He's got half guard. Get full mount. Full mount here. If he can flatten out his opponent, Joe, he can put in a choke here with both hooks in. It's over. Motherfucker, die! It's over. There's no way. It's not possible. It's over. Get fucked. Get fucked. There's no way. Now able to posture up. Back to the back again. Both hooks in. Bro. Back to full mount. Able to posture up from full mount. Oh, big elbow. Watch that wrist control. Chuck, motherfucker. Bro, it actually, what the fuck? Should have gone for a regular shot. Under two minutes remains. I'm too fucking slow. Dude, he won't die. Just over a minute remains. Watch where you grab your leg. One minute. Forty five seconds. This is there. We fucking go. Go get, get away from me. Oh. Middleweight title. Back in a minute. Let's look at it again. Look at all the power he gets in this. That Let's is look at it again. Powerful dude, Joe. Watch. And lights out. Watch it again, Joe. Wow. Right on the button. He got hurt bad. Look at him. He still has not recovered. He's still down. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Chuck was past his sell by date.
Uh, my stamina is pretty shit, but. Uh, my head is wrong. So it's uh, sub time. I swear I've had more than 20 takedowns. Okay. Oh look, Vandalay. <laughs> I love that fake the root sandstorm song I get. Tale the take is brought to you by Dodge. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now this man is a boy type. And now introduce it. And when the action begins, our rep are you ready, sir? Vanderlei oh. Silva, Kendall All right. Let's go. Round one is underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? This crowd is showing their love for him. After all these countless yeah, nice championship try. title defenses, he's arguably the most popular uh, the UFC Hold on, I'll get back to you in a second. I absolutely agree with that, Mike. This guy is being, he's going for the rim naked. He's got the arm under. It's pretty tight. Oh, he transitions to an arm bar. Fuck you, Vandalay, you hard headed sod. Alright, so I control. Or rather. Double butterflies here, Mike. He's in the full guard. Oh. Hold on. Nice right hand. Nah, can we not? Really raining down some haymakers. He ain't that one. Fuck me. Oh, he's got a triangle. Pulling down on the back of the head, trying to it finish it with the tight choke. here. Pretty tight. He might get it, Joe. Get out my head. Okay. I'll let you know what the feds were on. As soon as he adjusts with his hands, he gets it in deeper. Then he pulls down the head, and his opponent is forced to tap. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Mazel Tov. What's that? A stop to this contest. Uh, typo. At two minutes, forty-six seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And... 29. So, number 30 coming up. And we're back to 100%. Let's go. Yeah. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove and Jake Shields. I look, Jakey boy.
Jake Shields set to enter the octagon and well I'm going to take a break at some point and then come back tomorrow that's the plan the take is brought to you by tap out an expression of combat known worldwide now available if I hit 50 maybe I might call it a night and I'll leave the game the official on introductions the veteran voice of the octagon here is Bruce Buffer and now this man is a Gracie and now introduce it. and when the action begins a rep ready, ready. Jake Shields Kendall Grove and here we go okay. Joe how do you see this playing out for the champion you know really the number of times he's defended that title is pretty staggering yeah, I don't know what the challenger is playing tonight, but it would shock the world. Oh, and that one drops. Nice. You're getting back up, son. Back to his feet, but he is hurt badly. Looking with the over under under here. Now looking for the takedown. He wants to dump. Wow, okay. His legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. Pushes him off with the feet. 9.32 p.m. Both guys staying in tight. Inside leg kick. What an exchange here. Nice. Oh, nice left and a right. Ah. Nice punches. Oh, big kick inside. Nice one. What an onslaught of attack here. Under three minutes. Well done. Ah, oh, shit. Should have known that was coming. Some vicious kicks. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Okay. Kind of have to strike with uh, Jake. He caught the kick. Nice right nice. hand. Nice. He's got the clinch. Two minutes remains in round right. number one. What the fake? Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way there to go. go. They might not have as much power behind them, but the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more that time lead. for those punches to land. And the shorter, more effective punches are okay. getting there first. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Good leg kick. Oh, they're just throwing. Nice. Oh, they're exchanging here. And now he's answered. Come on, what's it got to take to hurt? Right now. Go with that lead. Go with the stamina. Oh, there we go. Oh. Motherfucker. Man, this crowd is loving it, Mike. Ha! Ah, fair enough. One complete. And if you were one of the judges watching that round, that should be simple to score. Well, you never know, Mike. This is a sport where anything can happen, and the judges are the least predictable part. Again, throw more kicks. Shut up. Honestly, what are we doing here? Let's take a look at the re. Okay, but I need a lead hook over here, not the backhand over here. And if you're ready, are you ready? Probably, yeah. We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Oh, big combination. Okay. Outside leg kick. <sighs> oh, but he ain't nice. Left. Well done. Looks like Shields is cut. I like that on my uh, my face there. Yeah, yeah, Chris, a little tricky to do it with Grove unless you're super fresh because he's not very quick. Oh, I'm going to get hurt soon for some reason. I'm going to go with that flying knee. Let's get it. You fucker. Low kick. Come 
Wow, that Fuck. right hand. Countering and scoring big time. Two minutes remains in the second. There we go, a bit late, but not clean. Remains in the second. Oh, big right hand. He's down. No, who? Looking to force his opponent up against the cage, Joe. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It remains in round two. Nice counter right hand. 45 seconds. I'm scared. I'm actually scared here. There we go. You. Cheeky son of a bitch! He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. And he lets him back up. I'm gonna finish it. Oh my goodness! Oh, that one staggered him. Get fucked. Don't you dare. <sighs> Maybe I wasn't as hurt as I thought, but I thought I was pretty damaged. I mean he's hit me with some good kicks. And I wasn't liking how he was getting me. Let's take a look at the timing again. I mean, he just sets that up. Perfect. I think that I think that mostly means that uh, you're maybe hunting for it too much, hunting for the finish. He is still out of it, man. He still can't get back up to his feet. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes fifty-six <laughs> seconds of the second round, <laughs> declaring the winner by knockout. At... Not too bad. Thirty defenses. Let's go. I've got to start getting back to the subs, man. I'm spending too much time on the feet. Right, come on, we we got, we got to get this one down quick, come on. This is an opportunity for us to save some time. We can beat Court, we can beat Court. We just got to shoot quick. Avoid those big right hands. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? After being the middleweight champion for so long, you have to wonder what keeps him motivated. Since he came to the UFC, he's worked towards being the best in the world, and he hasn't slowed down since he's done that. He's just one of those guys who is always driving to be better. If he loses the belt, it'll definitely not be from a lack yeah. of motivation. Oh! He got the body lock and he took him for a Well ride. done. Well done, Cole. Fuck. Make him reach it and make him pay. Inside leg kick. He caught the leg. Fast hands. Good battle okay. inside. He's working for the rear naked choke. 
He's got the arm under. It's pretty tight. He's going to oh, transition, Joe. Transitions to the arm bar. Man. Okay. Oh, he rolls out of it. Very nice escape. I reverse that. Moves into the mount here. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. This is doable. Maybe not. That's a perfect position, Mike. He's got the arm across the neck. He's pulling you fuck. Even tighter. Oh. oh, he gets out. Grove is cut open here, Mike. Just over a maximum full mount. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Back to butterfly guard again. Half I guard. denied that. Full guard here. I reversed that rather. Into half guard. Oh man, Grove is cut open bad now. Oh, he got reversed. Okay. Side control. Half guard. We're doing all right. Ah. Uh, we're at 30 defenses, so. It's really hard to say. Neither fighter was really able to do anything significant. What do you mean, hit the one in the middle? Let's take a look at the. He sets up to get hands in his face fast. Fast. All right, hard hands in his face. There's the beautiful. Oh, okay. Sorry, I haven't watched any of the Rocky movies, so. I know about a few characters, isn't I? Vaguely about one of the men, but. Fuck. He's got his back. Oh! Belly to belly again! He's got half guard. Moves into full mount here. Postured up. He's got both hooks, hooks in. in. Joe, this is dangerous. Fuck him. Slides through the back door. Big right hand. Fuck everything. He's got his back here. Relentless takedowns here. He's in the guard now. Side control. Half guard. Uh, 31. This will be the 31st defense. Vicious ground and pound from the top. We got him. I thought I had him. Able to posture up. And back to full. I'm at you here. Three minutes remains in the second round. Back to side control. Full guard. Side control again. Okay. Into the guard. Side control. There we go. Oh, oh. he's got him hurt. Nice right hand. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. He's got the back here. Got both hooks in. Road is fatigued here. Oh, let's hold the position a little bit. And mount again. Hey, what's Once up, again, man? He's going to try to flatten out his opponent and choke him out and finish this fight. Just over a minute remains. Now able to posture up. Oh, and again. Oh, but he recovers. This oh, damn it. Going nuts. Uh, uh, this is a 31st defense. Wow. For a triangle, and he's pulling on the back of the head, Joe. This is going to be tight. That is a very nice triangle here. Oh, and he's, <sighs> he's hurt, man. He's so hurt. Oh, sorry. Last time I got to 38 and one. Centered around the ground game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled, and both are looking to finish. 
What the fuck? I've been blasting him, man. What are you on about, corner? Honestly, I swear they don't listen after time. I think I can try and hit him with some shots on the feet, maybe, but what's that be my downfall? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And now he's answered. Oh, tucking in and counters that nicely. Oh. Push kick, and he answers. Both guys banging on the inside, Mike. Nope, not bothering. He's got his back here. Somehow I haven't been reversed on it yet. Okay, I see there's an opportunity there. Bloody hell, you don't transition like everyone else does. Dude, this has to be it. Uh, lightweight and welterweight. No fucking way is Court McGee ending my reign. Suck my ass. I'm not having this. It. It looks a loose here. Uh, he Walter Wayne. And he escapes. Oh, big elbow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Inside the guard. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Dude, actually fuck off and die. Yeah, he does. I forgot. I, sh I really need to give him more subs. I got it earlier today, the does. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Under a minute remains. He's not biting on anything. Good leg kick. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're Dude, just I actually don't understand this. Seriously. I missed it. Huge uppercut, Joe. Bro, oh my god. Beautiful hook. Oh, beautiful hook. And that signifies the oh. round three. Uh, a title run or a rank? I could give it a go in title mode. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments. I don't understand. I've blasted him with everything. Shut up. This is this is approaching Hendo levels. This is approaching Hendo levels of durability, and I don't like that. Nah, he didn't do. He didn't do. Uh, Ready for the start of round four. This steroids. For five. Fedor knocked me out with that. Come on. That one dropped him. He Get hurt. fucked. He's hurt. You're not living after this, son. Oh, this fight's close to being stopped. Get fucked. There's no way. Caught, man. You worry me, bro. Not caught. Uh, Kendall. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of the fourth round. Yeah. The winner by TKO. Uh... I need to I need to sub these guys, man. But I just. Uh, my head wasn't that damaged. It looks more damaged than it really is, I guess. Back to 100%. Let's go. Defense 31. If I get to 40, I will probably call it a night for now. But I will obviously leave it on. I don't know. I might try... Um, perhaps I'll try... Uh, I'll go for 50. Like, this is perfectly doable. No. 
unfortunately not. And I don't think I left my I don't think I have my PlayStation set up to where it'll never turn off. I'm worried. I forgot to check it before I started streaming, but I couldn't be asked to exit the game because that was a bit of a hassle on the PS3 on you. With Elgato. So and you can't check it while you're doing it because you have to you have to quit the game. We have been accustomed to modern uh, modern yeah. conveniences. Alright, Morello I can get. Although he's tricky because there's not really much subbing him. Unless I rock him. I mean his sub defense is very high. Is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a Brazilian. And now, introduce. And when the action begins, our ready. Murillo Bustamante, ready. Kendall Grove. All right. I just realized this is basically doing two careers in one video. If you're the champion, we've had the best seat in the house as we have watched this man evolve. Okay, we gotta be to champion to true wow. MMA legend. Absolutely, Mike. He's put in the time and the hard work, and he's made himself into the most dominant fighter this or any other weight division has ever seen. So, Amarillo, I gotta get you out here. I like you, but didn't want to do that. Whoops. He caught the kick. Oh! That's too slow, man. <laughs> and I know he's got a standing gear team. Ooh. Maybe I should ask a good idea. I should work the body more. Hold on now. Under three minutes now. He can't take many more of these, Joe. And now he's answered. There we go. Punishing him. Kind of figured that would happen, but. Nice right hand. No. Pushes him off of the feet, and he lets him back up. Didn't know he had have a fist. Makes well, prime fire. Well, still. He caught the leg. No. Oh, good counter. There we go, nice right straight. Or right overhand rather. There we go. Inside leg kick. He caught the kick. Nice try, son. Okay, try to put together a combo, but I got the flying knee at least. Yeah, they seem to have no interest in going to the ground. Joe, well, I mean, did he say throw more kicks? Or was it okay? I bet he did. But that offense, but that offense, off of fuck. But that offense, let's take a look at hey, five minutes of hell. Tighten your gentlemen. Ready, ready. I like how not everyone has high kicks. We start round two. This fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Yeah. He caught the leg. He ain't that one. And he answers fast hands. Good battle inside. I love that step, but it's dangerous. You can leave yourself open. He caught the kick. That's not landing, so I should just forget about it. Both men scoring points here. There we go. Oh, that left hook. Followed up by the kick. 
Again. Nice. And again. Be careful. Okay, fuck that. I need to. I need to time my better. Waste of stamina. Oh, to the midsection. Oh, body shot. Body shot. Oh, he hit with a big lift. Fucking hell! What the fuck, Marillo? Since when? Pushing his opponent away. Jesus. Yeah, although I guess because I actually modeled them in this game, that might be why. Don't like this. No, 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 no. Oh, he's hurt! That one dropped him! Boom! He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped pretty quickly. Watch the fuck out. Get up. I dare you. I dare you. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot. You crafty fucker. Yeah, I get you. Don't slam me. Don't rock me. Good. Very nice. Good defense. Half guard. Fuck. He's in the guard now. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, he lets him up. How the fuck are flying near him? What the fuck? Wow, that's that's well done. Oh, come on, Kendall. Come on, come on, come on. We've got to finish him. Seem determined to keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. So after you throw a couple punches, Well, our head seems to be okay. You're right. Your movement is pissing me off. Stay still. What the fuck happened to his arm? Murillo's left arm. What the fuck? Dude, he fucking hit himself. <laughs> God damn. Jab, okay? I don't want you looking at him. I want you step jab. The beautiful Brittany. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? All right, flying the inbound. And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is. Fuck! Oh, fuck off. Five minute rounds. Both men exchanging. Fear not. Oh. He caught the kick. Oh. Hands up. Hands up. Stick to the game plan. Let's try, Barilla. Come on. He's really not falling for it, man. He's not dumb. Because he's at—he's not really at a jiu-jitsu guy. He wants to get to the ground. Inside leg kick. I didn't see it. Oh, in and oh yeah. I'm going to download it and watch. Nice body kick. Oh, flying knee. Honestly, how the fuck do they not go down, man? Just over a minute remains. Oh fuck, yeah, there we go. Oh, thanks, ref. Right Fuck Marillo there, apparently. That was like getting hit by a truck. That is some serious power. Oh, 
Let's take. I wonder if he's still out. And with our official decision, what do you mean, clinch drop? Is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, I, but can't they? Is that an instant Bruce drop all the time? But they can also block the clinch when they're wrong. Interesting. All right. UFC middleweight title was never heard in real life almost back to 100% 32 oh okay how do you do a knee to the body is it just a regular knee because I thought you could do leg kicks from there I guess it is just L2 I only usually punch it in the Yeah, he does have instant tie, so I don't know. We can try. Oh, fuck me. This is fucking old version of the guy who smashed me last time. Okay, I will defeat Vitor. Vitor Belfort, making his way to the octagon, ready to compete for the title. Vitor is primarily known for his blinding punching speed. He has explosive striking and a lot of impressive knockouts. Carwin. Our tale of the tape. Oh yeah, sure, McCork was a good one actually. McCork was real good on the ground. He's like heavyweight Kendall Grove, except in none, no way whatsoever. Except his, I guess, his jiu-jitsu. Although he's got better arms. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming yeah, no, into the Octagon tonight? This man comes in. Oh! And he Shit, the that's what I wanted. Got the butterflies in. What are you doing? He's looking for the triangle, Mike. I don't think it's quite tight enough. Fuck balls, cunt wanker. Demonetized. Don't slam me, you fucking whore. Stop abusing TRT! Cunt! Fucking hate you, Vitor. Jacked fuck. Nice try. Half guard. This fighter really uses the butterfly guard very effectively. Yes, he does, Mike. Elevates the hips, keeps the guys big. He's throwing a leg up, looking for a triangle. Why is he such a hard cunt to get, man? He's going to go for another triangle. I'm going to be dead. Bro, you're fucking... Shh. Take him down! He would not be denied there. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kabora. How can Vitor do this when he was even slight? Oh my god. All this fucking juice he's on. Very nice. Good defense. In the half guard. Oh man, Grove is cut open bad now. Thank you. Butterfly guard. I'm gonna get him. Break. 
I'm going to shoot forever. There's no point not. I have to. Actually, fuck it for a laugh. Oh my god. I actually wanted to go for a flying knee, but I did the wrong one. Well, I went for the, the sway too quick. Oh, the flick on the left stick too early. Which makes for a very stale, very unexciting matchup. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Here we see that failed submit. Good. Okay, gentlemen. Ready? Ready? We start round two. Right. This fight scheduled for five. five nice knowing it. They clinch again. He's down. Oh, he's got a triangle. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Don't like this. He's gonna slam me and I'm fucked. Fuck you, Vitor! You cunt bang. What? Guess we've got to try striking. Fuck, fuck that. Maybe I'll get an RNC. Did I really do that? He's got mission control here. He's got half guard. But I reversed him, but okay. Under two minutes remains. Transitions to the full mount. No. Nice try though, Vitor. You're not getting me. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Get off on him. Get off on him. Get off right now. Right now. He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Fuck! I hate you, you juiced cunt! He's gonna rock me now, watch. Bang. And he escapes. Half guard. Oh, he gets revert. Two rounds in the Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. I hate Vitor! Why is he so good? Yeah, they neutralize each other on the mat, Mike. No one seemed willing to take any risks. Good. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Here we see some beautiful. Ha. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, ready? Alright. Flying knee time. And we are set Let's for the fight. start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is I'm going away from that Muay Thai star, but I have rounds. to. Dude, he just owns me. Okay. He caught the leg. Oh! Push kick. Go on. What's up, man? Wow, I don't like this. Don't like this!
Got the legs together, pulling on the back of the hat, trying to finish this fight. I'll laugh if I get this. I will actually laugh. Get fucked, I got it! Whoa! Okay, we're moving on. What a performance! He defends the UFC middleweight title. I think it's like the 34th defense. No, I didn't laugh. I... Take us through the execution and the finish. I don't know. You see here, get it. this is the end. I mean, that is just locked We're down, right. This is the end. Look at it from this. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 57 seconds. Fucking steroid junkie cunt. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. Can't I just what? Blanked him. Uh, well, I could, but that's stamina that's... Oh, I need it. 33. I prefer to finish fights quickly because only a certain amount of stamina recovers, so. Maybe. I don't think so, though, just yet, though. Yeah. Oh fuck. Fucking hate Jorge. He beats the piss out of me every time we fight. My, the best way I found is just to shoot immediately. You know, make them exert some energy, go over and see. Switch to arm by if all is going not well. Uh, there's already a counter when you, uh, after you finish the fight. It shows you that. And also, I can't update it on the fly. Uh, maybe if I was in OBS or something. I don't know. Maybe I can't remember. I think so. I'm not sure. Jorge Rivera, Kendall Grove, and we are underway. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. Oh my! God. I hate it when it goes for the fucking tight glitch. No! He's down. And again. You whore! No, what the fuck? Okay. Hold up. Slam him. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Pushes him off of the feet. Fuck off. You're done now, son. Beautiful throw. Great Greco Roman. You've misbehaved. Didn't want to do that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, shit. Didn't want to do that, man. Click the stick too early. That is a tight, tight. Oh, he rolls out of it. Very nice escape. And into full mount. He's got half guard. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. You bastard. Come here. Fucking hell, Kendall, man! You gotta get the guys like this. Don't slam me. Whatever you do, do not slam me. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Two minutes remains in round number one. Watch for him to grab your leg. Fuck off. I'm fine with being stood up. Shit. Okay. Big kick inside. 
You've got me fucked up everything. I'm playing around here now. Stop going for that! Go for the... Bro, actually... Fuck you. Choke, you bastard! Honestly, Kendall, Kendall, you dopey shitbag. Oh. Fuck, man. He keeps going for the tight clinch, but I'm looking for the takedown. Maybe not. I guess it's just habit. Uh, I just prefer playing with no hard on. Ready? Ready? We start round two. This fight scheduled yeah. five. Mm, you're right. Thank you, sir. I figured it might be early when I tried it, but I wasn't sure. He's got double underhooks here. Don't go for that yet. This guy is a savage, man. Oh my god. Let me guess. Fucking no, no, no. Pushes him off with the feet. Swing Fuck that idea. He's got his back here. He takes him down again. Nice knee to the shot of body. Into the guard. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position, pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Get that double going. Get that double going. He's got his back. Get him back and up and make him pay. Under three minutes now. Struggling hard for the takedown. He's gonna get me, yep. He's looking to take him down, he gets mounted. Ah, uh, the double underhook didn't work that time. He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Good on you, uh, corner. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way! He's got it, it looks a little loose here. That's a perfect position, Mike, he's got the arm across the neck. Oh! My fault. Fucking shit bag, Jorge. These fights get harder and bloody harder, even though the difficulty's leveled out. Grove is cut open here, Mike. Oh man, Gro oh he's got a triangle. This is good. This is good. It's not good. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Calm, see if he can break out of this. Bro, end me. Don't you dare slam. Wow, great job oh, I'm just gonna hold here. I don't give a fuck. One more. On a triangle. I don't think it's quite tight enough. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. And that is the end of round two. Not a lot of activity. Oh. There, yeah, aside from that nice submission attempt at the end of the round, we're not seeing a lot of effective offense from either fighter. Let me guess. Throw more kicks. <laughs> You whore, hey, why do they give me these assholes that are too good? Give me fucking Court McGee gun or Akiyama. Anybody. Fuck it, I'll even fight GSP. No, I won't actually fuck that. I'd rather fight Anderson. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Um, I almost had those submissions. I just fucked up. The problem is Ke oh, <clears throat> Kendall, man. I'm just afraid to strike sometimes. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five, five minute rounds. He's got the double. What do we get, Sketch? Watch out for the guillotine. Yeah, he's down. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Fuck you. Watch him go to mount now. 
using the butterflies. He's throwing a leg up, looking for a triangle. Great submission. Completely defense. fucking blew that. Great job. Great job. Great job. Rock. Very nice. Good defense. Body shot. Pushes him off with the feet. He decides to let him up. Stop digging my body. This ain't worth it, man. Submit him, you dopey shit! Fuck, it's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, but he recovers. Got the butterflies in. In the half guard. Oh, smooth, Joe. Very nice transition to side control. He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Oh. He is slow. He's 80 over. He's kind of trash. Nicely done. Just over a minute remains. <sighs> Under a minute remains. Oh, he's got a triangle. He's holding down, down the back. The yep. He's got some pressure on it, Joe. Get fucked. Fuck you, Jorge. Choke, motherfucker. Have to tap. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, this is much more enjoyable and easy than Yes my guess. So I'm not debating that. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at four minutes twenty-five seconds of the third round. Declaring <laughs> the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. Oh, look at that fucking head damage, man. Right, it's sub time. No, I tried. I wish he did. Very be a fun one to do with that. Oh look, a fight that might should be better. I haven't watched it now. Rashad has it, huh? Why does Rashad have a gear team for him? He must have done it at some point. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a freestyle, and now... Introduced, and when the action begins, Alan Belcher, Kevin oh. Grove. Here we go. Round one is Let's underway. Play. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? This kind of high pressure situation is just business as usual for him. Yeah, he's faced more number one contenders than probably any other fighter who's ever walked the planet. And tonight, his opponent Fuck. is definitely one of the best. But everybody's an underdog against this guy. Let me blow his body up a little bit. What an exchange here. He caught the kick. Sorry. Whoa. He's got his back here. Beautiful throw. Great Greco Roman right there, Joe. Ah. Uh. Guard here. He ate that one. Big elbows and punches from the top. Side control. Hold on. Oh, it's got double butterflies in here, Watch Mike. Out. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. 
Pushing his opponent away. I'll let him up. Well, oh, they probably want to go up anyway. Oh, big kick. Push kick. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Oh, to the midsection. And he's dead. Oi. He be denied there. Moves into full mount here. So we can do here. Got the hooks in, Joe. He's got his back. Rolls back over to mount again. But oh, he got reversed. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. Yeah. He's pulling down in the head. He adjusts. Yeah, just okay. Yeah, I forgot about the elbows. Okay. What a performance! He defends the UFC middleweight title. Yeah. I don't know. Perfectly executed trying. Oh yeah. Didn't think I was actually going to get that, but. Has the official decision, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Josh Rose. Was it like 30, 60? To this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. <laughs> and still, the UFC middle. 35. Okay. Yeah, DC, exactly what this game is, disconnect. And you play online. I recently hit 900,000 shot points, so that's nice. Yeah, I like the uh, Hayabusa and Mega I've never used them, but I just like what they look like, that brown leather. This might be a problem, Munoz is a fucking, he hits hard as fuck. And his subs are good, I think. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport <coughs> lives here. And now with uh, I'm going to try and break his body fighters, a little bit at least. This man is a mixed mark. And now, introduce. And when the action begins, our rep. Mark Munoz. Kendall Grove. Oh, all right, here we go. And here we go. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the champion? He's fighting with supreme confidence. Blimey. Blimey. Beaten in countless straight championship fights. Yeah, he seems to be on a completely different plane from everybody else. He's facing a very strong challenger tonight, but the odds makers still have him as a distant, distant... Oh, that Fuck! Nice counter right, he's down. He ate that one. He got blasted, but he seems to throw a leg up, looking for a triangle. Whoa, okay, I don't like this. I don't like how my subs aren't there at all. It's an excellent take. He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Man, he's pulling on the back of the head, Joe. This is going to be tight. That is a very nice triangle here. Yeah, I wasn't letting that one go. Yeah, I would, yeah, they have the boxing gloves, which is nice. Only for calves, though, weirdly. He defends the U. And Joe, when you saw the force, not only on the <laughs> net, but also just the way. Yeah. And with 
This is the universe where Kenel Grove lives up to his potential. Referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And still... Alright, <clears throat> on to the next one. Meyer on this game hits like a truck for some reason. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> what? Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a Brazilian <laughs> jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands and now. Introducing the What's up, OMG? Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, six feet tall, <laughs> weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting uh... in Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion of the world. Yeah, no, I just saw he died in 2002. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest, Damian Maya, Kendall Grove. Striking it is. Gotta be careful. Look at that body. I guess we'll find out. Does he still have what it takes to retain his belt and keep his win streak going against another? Talented and very hungry contender. He's as focused as I've ever seen him, Mike. His training, his conditioning. He hasn't let all the success change the way he prepares for a fight. If anything, all this top-level competition has just honed his skills that much more. Okay. Oh, nice left and a right. It's actually a quick hook in this game. I found out the other day. There is the default. There is the default jab is not a jab. It's a quick hook. But certain fighters do actually have a, a jab as a, as a sort of unique move. Cruz has like Cruz has a boxing jab, and I'm pretty sure uh, like BJ Penn and Gomi or BJ Penn and Nick actually have a proper jab. My looks are very looks very chunky in this game. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Nice body shot and then hook combo. Before it is worth it, serves the same purpose as the jab. Nice leg kick. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Oh, that one oh nice. I think that would drop him. He's swinging. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Good counter though, Joe. Oh, over the top. Maya is swinging right here. Big right hand. Yeah. Oh, big there we go. Shot. He's it's over. Nice it's got to be over. Hand. Or at least do some real damage. 45 seconds remains in the first round. 
Nope, not having that. Oh, he got hurt. He's down. Nice right hand. This fight's just a bit of Oh, wow. That is some Fine. nasty ground and pound right there, Mike. I'll take that. <laughs> Here we see it again. And with our official decision, here is And Bruce still. Fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. Hey. Oh, okay, good. 7%. I like that. 37. Let's go. Come on, we can make it 40. We're only 11 fighters away from finishing our career mode length. set for the official introductions and with that here is Bruce Buffer and now this right. man is a freestyle and now introduced and when the action begins our ref come on oh I feel a bit nervous there for a sec we get caught course doable Joe what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight I mean, can you believe the win streak this champion is on? You want to talk about MMA legends? You're looking at He's working for the rear naked choke. Oh, he tries to just do it. Didn't really want to do that, but. Beautiful switch here. That is a tight, tight arm bar. You fucker. Well done. Oh, oh, he rolled out of it. Very nice escape. Uh -oh. Okay, moves into the mouth. Right, chill, 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 chill. You've got better position. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Back to side control. And back to mount again. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Grove is cut open here, Mike. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Under three minutes. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. Uh. Remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Right, well, <clears throat> next attempt it is then. He got out! And he escapes. Ready to move. That triangle. Right. That right off. <laughs> stand him up here. Good call. All right, go to Let's work to the body. Again. Shit. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Oh, big left hook. Okay, back up, back up, back up. It looks like McGee is bleeding here. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. See if I can get him with a head kick. Push kick. Big left hook. In 
inside with a clinch again. Hold on. And he takes him down. Round one complete. A superb display of mixed martial arts. I think we won round. From both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown. You score with your jab. Mix up. Who is coaching me at this point? Who keeps telling me to throw more kicks? Let's take a look at the re. One quick thing when you go jail, bro. Okay, fighters. You ready? You ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Oh, big kick. Don't chase him. That cut on McGee has go. really opened up now, Mike. Inside leg kick. Nice leg kick. Oh, we got tagged to the hook. Come on. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Okay, nice, nice body, body shot. shot and then hook combination. Oh, man. Fourth. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, another one he landed. Nice right hand. Fuck, man, I'm only an inch off. What an exchange here. And he's ripping my body to shreds. Nice combination. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Snapping his head back, Mike. I want two rows. Halfway there. Double the jab. Back it up. Thanks. Thanks. Both guys staying in. Fuck. Oh, nice. What the fuck does it take, bro? Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. What a huge there you go. right hand. Oh, what the fuck? Kick. He got blasted, but it looks like he's what? pretty quickly. Yeah, I know. I like Court. Oh, for a while, I'll, 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 I look forward to his fights. Flying Nate, it's over. Next one. Just Fuck. over a minute remains. Oh, ducking in and counters that nicely. Dangerous situation. Fine. 45 seconds remains. Oh my god, I should have gone for a head kick. 30 seconds remains in the round. Get that double going, get that double going. Just missed with that one. What the fuck? Grove is fatigued here. Two rounds in the books. Waste of energy. <laughs> in this UFC title fight. Both fighters showing some pretty effective stand-up striking, Joe. Yeah, they seem to have no interest in going to the ground. He's hurt, man. He's hurt. Keep working. Let's take. You don't get the takedown. You're going back to the street. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big right. I just see that flying. I need to finish him. I'm, I'm too wary. I'm too wary. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. There's counter here. Don't chase it. Get inside. Stay patient. Keep moving. Don't stay in front of him. Bro, what the fuck is that? He ain't that one. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Nice knee to the body. Fuck it. Whatever, that worked. Well, our next shot's got to finish him. Nice inside leg kick. Next fly knee, it's over. Shit. In the distance, he's got the clinch, Joe. Oh, 
Alright, last shot. That's all I got. Fucking what? No! No! Oh, good combination. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. He's throwing a leg up, looking for a triangle. Fuck, 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 fuck. He's holding down, down the back, head. yep. He's got some pressure on it, Joe. Ah! He escapes! He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. He's looking for the triangle, Mike. Trying to remain patient. Escapes very nice, good defense. Oh, mount 30 seconds remains in the round. Able to posture up. Back to full mount. Try to scoot his opponent up towards the fence. Bollocks. Takes us to the end. The fucking cage elbow, man. He abused the shit out of that. The dirty fuck. Yeah, both these guys are very well rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. God, man. Come on, Kendall. We got to get him out of there. Flying knee, something. Set it up. We just got to launch something across the cage here. Three rounds in the book. Round four is underway. Oh, Fuck man. that. Gross Fuck that. Yeah, it's completely unblockable if they get you. They just keep spamming it. It's broken. What the fuck? I know I'm abusing this, but I need to. Fuck it, he cared you over me, so he can, he, he can have some fucking payback. doing it will not end by court mcgee i say oh flying knee what the actual poop fuck under three minutes now outside leg kick Bro, what? Get fucked. Jesus Christ, ref. Sorry, I, I, I had to just get... I had to find some openings. I was so hurt. That's awesome. He defends the UFC middleweight title. Avenge, yeah. Better voice of the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of the fourth round, declaring the winner by knockout. Shit, fuck shit.
Oh, come on! Not now, man! Why do you have to thwart me at this fucking 38 again? Same one as bloody Vitor last time. <sighs> oh well, here we go. The end has come. Making his way to the octagon, ready to defend his UFC title. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Nice knowing you, lads. This is it. This man is a wrestler. And now, introducing, and when the action begins, this is if they touch for a laugh. Charge of this contest is Kevin. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I'm on a good clean fight. God damn, he looks short. I know he's probably. I mean, he's sort of crouched by me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves? Let's come out fighting. Mike Goldberg along. George St. Pierre. Kendall Grove. Uh, I might try and strike a little bit. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? What can we say about this man that hasn't already been said? Yeah, his title reign has been unbelievable, Mike. He's defended that belt so many times against so many top fighters. There's never been Avoid a more that. dominant competitor. Yeah, I know. He caught the kick. Oh, watch out, I've got to get the intercept knee ready. Don't do that. Oh, spinning back kick. Oh, looping hook there. Hands up. Hands up. Well, Bloody hell. Oh, but he ate a left I'm so much slower. That's a nice head kick there. Inside leg kick. Holy shit. I like that he goes to the knee as well. Nice outside leg kick. Big knee. If I get him down, I'm going for the submission. I'm not even going to try and finish him with punches. Why don't you go for the flying knee, you dope? 45 seconds remains in the first round. He's got his back. Yes, I got one uh, last night actually. I think I'll lose today one or two. Our first round is Fuck. Both fighters showing some pretty effective stand up. I think I got Lieben with that. Yeah, they seem to have no interest in going to the ground. After you angle off, fire on. You own it when you spin it. You understand? When you angle off, come back right away. You got it? Angle off, come back right away. Did it? I'll oh, swear if it's able to throw more kicks again. Let's I'm go ready. to the replay of that Fuck round, Mike. You. Here is that counter strike that landed. The low kick is a weapon to neutralize some of the strikes. I need to keep using it. You ready? You ready? <clears throat> we start round two. This fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Just too far out. Wow, that kick. Good leg kick. Again teeing off. Far. Glad that both missed. Thank you for the height there. One six. Ah. <laughs> 
Nice leg kicks here, Mike. Beautiful head kick there. Over the top of that big right. He ate that one. Again with the leg kicks. Nice leg kick. Countering and scoring big time. Outside leg kick. Nice body kick. Back up a little bit here. He's got his back here. Fuck me, man. What a chin. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. Good counter, though, Joe. What the fuck? Nice leg kick. He's got his back here. Shot. Oh, nice knee. Knee. Two rounds in the books. Okay. Rounds to go. No. UFC title fight. Both fighters seem content <laughs> to keep this fight on the feet that round. Yeah, but it wasn't very effective, Mike. Sometimes you need to make the think it was cheap? threat of a takedown to open up your stand up game. Going if you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Okay, fighters. You ready? Are you ready? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. That was an opportunity I missed. Nice counter. Oh, they're just Fuck, that was a real kick to the head. Oh, Fuck it, I'll die. Beautiful knee. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Fuck! I don't want to go for that, but okay. Oh, flying knee! Oh, big shot! He's down! He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. The crowd rallying behind George St. Pierre. Under oh, he got reversed. Side control. Nicely done. Thought I, gonna, I said I was going for a smash, but I couldn't. I couldn't let the opportunity slip. Fuck, man. He did a great job of avoiding those strikes on the ground. Man, this crowd tonight really loving George St. Pierre. Pushes him off of the feet. GSP switches to the southpaw stance. Fuck. Joe, both fighters seem to 
keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. Three, two, three, two. He's still looking for that uppercut. All right? Oh, okay. Give him the uppercut with the mouthpiece. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's still tricky though. I just have to keep. I, I can't take my stance. I have to keep fainting out, so I get an opportunity for a knee. Yeah, the problem is they're very risky. You have to make. You have to make sure you're. The body kicks are risky, especially the step in rear. Oh, and that one drops him. Oh, this fight's just about over, Joe. <laughs> Pushing his opponent away, and he lets him back up. Nice right hand. Finally, last one, last one. Gotta get him. He caught the leg. Don't you dare. There you go. Don't know, but he ain't getting up anymore. What a performance! He defends <laughs> the UFC middleweight title. Let's see it again. Man, he got some torque in those hips, didn't he, Joe? Yeah, that was just perfect technique, right in the perfect spot. And here we see it again. Good night. Great angle here. <laughs> with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest <laughs> at 1 minute 38 seconds of the fourth round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Kendall, this fight <laughs> All right, GSP done. I did it. Decent stamina. Pretty much no head damage. We're uh, we're up for a, we're up for a striker next time. Dragon match. Bloody hell! I didn't bleed. Okay. Fight between Ultimate Fighter Kendall Grove and Nate the Great Marquardt. No, I haven't got Rampage. Not Pry Rampage anyway. Our Tale of the Day is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, <laughs> here is Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a mixed martial. And now, Introduced, and when the action begins, our referee okay, you Nate Marquardt, you Kendall Grove, and we are That's underway. Fight. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the champion? This crowd is showing their love for him. After all these countless championship Ooh. title defenses, he's arguably the most popular fighter the UFC has ever seen. I nice try. absolutely agree with that, Mike. This guy is becoming bigger than the sport itself. Ow. Marquardt is gassing here. He 
gets a takedown. Come down with a good one. He's so we can an arm. He's take his arm home. He's cranking it, Mike. Oh man, that shoulder's gonna pop. It's over. It's over. If I'm not an idiot. There you go. He tapped, it's all he got it. Wow. Great Kimura. We needed that. Once he connected. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a computer. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, get a lot. What the fuck? I was already at 20. 27 health. Got 26. All right. Well, we got a good bit of stamina back. Oh, we're officially at 40 defenses. If I if I get two more wins, I will have broken the previous record with Habib and like I made of. Thank you. The work's not done yet, though. Alright, fuck title. playing around with Mark Minos. That's it. I'm not bothering. It's takedown immediately. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. <laughs> I wonder if it uses the top defense ranking system to determine cha uh, challenges. This man is a mixed martial and now it should and when the action begins our ready? Mark Munoz ready? Kendall Grove All right Round 1 is Let's underway go. Joe give us your thoughts on the champion You know really the number of times Fuck. he's defended that title is pretty staggering Yeah I don't know what the challenger is planning tonight but it would shock the world if he managed to take the belt away from the champ Half guard Full mount, there we go. Got the mount. This is not good. Able to posture up from full mount. He, oh, he got tagged. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Okay. Top position is doing a great job of holding that mount. That's a huge okay. left hand. Oh, he's even hurt more. Oh, he connected with an elbow. Oh, this fight's close to being stopped. Got the hooks in, Joe. He's got his back. Total control. What That's a it. Huge it's right over. Hand. Oh, he There's no way. He's taking these. It looks like he's what the fuck, man? Are ground. you human? He's got both hooks again. Well over two and mount again. Now able to pop. Oh, fish is grounded, pound from the top. Oh, he recovers. Man, the cheers in here are deafening. This crowd is loving this. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, big shot from the top. He's in big trouble. Looking to it's over. It's over. Fuck it, hell, man. All right. Well, the full mount worked. <laughs> I love how dangerous it is in this game. But it's balance. You can't escape if you're good enough, or if you know that if you yeah, if you time it well. 
But also, it's powerful if you know what you're doing. Here's Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the U.S. Right. Ah, oh, shit, my stamina. Uh, I forgot it doesn't count total stamina. It, like... Uh, it just counts how much you have you have when you yeah because stamina will regenerate uh, the problem is there's like a red bit and it, it takes a while to regenerate and, uh, so it's not permanent stamina it counts temporary stamina Okay. Fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove and heavy handed Chris the Crippler Lieben. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Now, this man is a priest, and now introduced. And when the action begins, our okay, Chris Lieben, Kendall Grove. Uh, I'm not gonna bother striking. And here we Let's go. Joe, Much. How do you see this playing out for the champion after being the middleweight champion for so long? You have to wonder what keeps him motivated. Since he came to the UFC, he's worked towards being the best in the world, and he hasn't slowed down since he's done that. He's just one of those guys who is always driving to be better. If he loses the belt, it'll definitely not be from a lack of motivation. Try to hit him to the body, but... Fuck this. They clinch again. Go on, go on, go on. I dare you, I dare you. Come on, son. Try. Under three minutes now. He caught the leg. He's got his back here. Beautiful throw. Great Greco Roman right there, Joe. Ooh, well done. He's in full guard. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Grove is fatigued here. Oh, shit. Okay. He's half guard. Don't you dare submit me. Two minutes remains in round number one. Pressure. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. He ain't that one. Hold on. He takes him down again. Oh, he's got Come a triangle. On. Let's get him. Let's get him. Pulling on the back of the head, Joe. This is going to be tight. That is a very nice triangle here. There you go. Okay, we have officially... I believe we've broken the record. I think. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. 
Sorry, I'm not commentating as much because I'm getting a bit tense. Not tense, but I just... I need to focus. 42, let's go. And some stamina back. <laughs> Alright. Who's next? Oh shit, Marilla. Alright. Ain't no plan around with him. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Come on. <laughs> This man is a Brazilian. And now mm. introduced. And when the action begins, our ref. Ready? Murillo Bustamante. Ready? Kendall Grove. And here we Let's go. Play. Joe, how do you approach this? So sad if I have a power console. We've had the best seat in the house as we have watched we this get... rookie to champion to true MMA legend. Absolutely, Mike. He's put in the time and the hard work, and he's made himself into the most dominant fighter this or any other weight division has ever seen. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Hold on. Huge left and right. We'll keep using that. Snapping his head back, Mike. Inside leg kick. There we go. We must. Push kick. Well done. There you go, needed that. He caught the kick. I slightly landed. Inside leg kick. Oh, well done. Shot. Just out of harm's way and then boom the counter. Okay, can't do too many of those. I don't have much stamina. Back and forth. There you go, two head kick, second head kick rather. Nice inside leg kick. Beautiful check. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. He caught the leg. Okay, slow down a little bit. Be careful, be careful. Get stamina back. Inside leg kick. Okay. There you go. I tried. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Under a minute remains. Another flying knee. Both men scoring points here. Oh, we got tagged with a hook. All right, he got me at the end. I had him rocked. Is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to war. Uh, come on. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. Fuck off, throw more kicks. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Here we see the beautiful kick defense. Caught it coming in and landed the perfect counter punch. And <sighs> Listen, gentlemen, ready? Ready? Come on. Gotta hit it with some more. We start flying knees, head kicks. This fight scheduled for five 
five minute rounds. To his body end. He caught the kick. He's down. Up, 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 up. He got back to his feet, but he is hurt badly. Lucky fucker. I am not going to get KJ Elbow today. Well done. Just slightly out of range with that, man. Me. That was a nice hell of a shot. Just missed with that one. He caught the kick. Oh, oh beautiful hook. Get him with that. Two minutes left in the second. They are exchanging here, Mike. Push forward, push forward, don't retreat. He caught the leg. Terrible idea, but I managed to get out of that one. Ninety seconds remains in the second. Just over a minute remains. Looks like Bustamante is cut here, Mike. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it. More flying there. 30 seconds remains in the round. What the fuck? Good leg kick. Two rounds in the books. Three oh. rounds to go in this UFC title fight. Both fighters seem content. <sighs> I just I don't have the stamina to go a volume yeah, war, so I have to keep Mike. And I certainly can't submit Merlin. Well I could, but it's not worth it. Open up your stand -up game. I've gotta keep trying to hit him with fucking fuck off. Oh yeah, I know he's hurt. Gotta keep trying to hit him with big shots. Keep working. Let... But, all right, look... Problem is the fly needs to do the most damage. So I kinda have to go for it. Yeah. Set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five minute rounds. Oh, nice knee. Don't wow. ask me how the fuck. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. Oh, he tagged the over. How? Oh, you cheeky bastard. I don't understand. Inside leg kick. There you go, it's over. Nice one, ref. Oh, all right. Hopefully, I had a decent bit of stamina. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And Onwards to victory. That's what I like to see.
Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter win Vandalay Silva. Uh, a mod is just where you know where you can, um, you know, ban. Pi fuck, you can uh, time people out. For some reason, you can send links over as a mod. I don't know why, even though I said it to anyone to send links, but I'm a fucking uh, YouTube being weird. He's got well-rounded skills and has been in some war since he first fought his way into the UFC. He sets up crafty submissions with those long limbs. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport oh, lives four and a half hours. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, our round for the UFC. I'm not gonna let my to beat all for honor. Twenty fights, maybe. That'd be nice. Introducing first, the challenger. Or ever. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He's five feet eleven inches tall. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Curitiba, Brazil. And now, introduced and the right. action begins. Let's do this! <sighs> and here we go. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. This man comes in tonight as what can only be described as the most dominant champion <laughs> of all time. He's definitely the undisputed ruler of the octagon right now, Mike, and he has been for quite some time. He shoots in, like an... and he's oh, down, nice. He would not be denied there. In the full guard here. Uh, 11:29. Pushing his opponent away. Beautiful. Misses with the kick. He's got his back here. Oh, and he slips and lands up on his back. There we go. Silva is cut open. Oh, big shot from the top. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Oh, big Fuck. shot. He's hurt. Oh, he recovers. He's got both hooks in, Mike. Gonna try to let's wait for, let's wait for us down on the comeback here. Mount again. There we go. That's what I wanted. Huge left and right. Those are it's over. Head back, Mike. Oh, brutal ground and pound. Oh, but it should be over. Jump back to the back again. Both hooks in. Goes back over to mount again. Well over two minutes remains in round number. Oh, big shots from the top. He's hurt, Mike. Oh, this is ugly, Mike. Oh, Fuck. He recovers. The chin on Randallet. Wow. Oh, he's got a triangle. Terrible idea, actually. Terrible idea. He's gonna slam me. Yikes. If he wins this, I will eat my own socks. Pushes him off of the feet and he lets him back up. He's hurt back. Yeah, get 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 down. Oh. He's in big trouble looking to finish the fight. There's no way. I was going to say. Wow, what a performance. There you go. Okay, no grove, ladies and gentlemen. official decision ladies and gentlemen referee josh rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at three minutes 48 seconds of the very first round declaring the winner by tko and still oh. beautiful number four holy shit Guys, we're actually near 50. I will likely uh, probably cap uh, yeah, head off at fifty-ish. What the fuck? He didn't die, did he?
What are you on about? Coming up next, it's a middleweight title. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Fuck. UFC Store. The sport lives here. Right. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon. Here is Bruce. Parker. I looked it up. I didn't see anything. And now, this man is a mixed martial art. And now, it should do. And when the action begins, our Ready? Dan Henderson, Ready? Kendall Grove. And here we Let's go. Fight. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? As the reigning champion, he enters the octagon tonight, riding high on an incredible win streak. A streak that's one of the most, if not the most, in oh, takes him for a ride. Uh, Vito beat me the first time. Head kick. But I've surpassed that. Postures up. Total control from the top position. Oh, shit. There you go. In the full mount. This is where I want to be. Take many more of these Joe. Forgot about that. Let's see. Triangle, Mike. Hmm. Not great. Not terrible. Still doable. He's pulling on the back of the head, Joe. This is gonna be tight. That is a very nice triangle here. Fuck. Oh, he got out. Well done, Dan. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Terrible idea. Blimey. And he lets him back up. Foy. Fuck that. Huge left and right. He is quite trigger happy though. Man, that knee landed heavy. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. What an exchange here. Just over a minute remains. A nice inside leg kick. There you go. Nice high kick. 45 seconds remains. Oh, nice. This man's got a chin of God. There you go. Right hand, he's down. Boom. I know it. From the top, he's hurt, Mike. He's got to figure out a way to improve his position here. And oh, shit, we got him out of there. Hey, let's go. Just at the end of the first round, and this is the end here. Just Bruce Buffer has the official decision, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. 58 got down. The winner by TKO and Steve. Yeah. I got him out now. Oh, we're almost back to perfect. 45 defenses. Let's go. I even managed to beat GSP. Tough son of a bitch, but I got him. Yeah, alright, feeler. Alright, doable. 
Try and gas him out a bit, maybe. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. <laughs> and now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a mixed mark. We are far too. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this cock. Polo Filo, Kendall Grove. And we are underway. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the champion? Fuck. This kind of high pressure situation. Okay, he goes full quick. Business as usual for him. Yeah, he's faced more number one contenders than probably any other fighter who's ever walked the planet. And tonight, his opponent is definitely one of the best. But everybody's an underdog against this guy. Okay. Oh, nice knee. Wow. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. Get out of there. And again, he loves throwing that punch. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back. You're right, Paulo. Oh my god. Well done, son. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. Oh, big big shots. Big shots from the top here, Mike. He is dazed. Oh, big elbow. It looks like he's recovering. He did a great job of avoiding those strikes on the ground. Let's see. Well done. Good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Oh. Let's see what he does from Ooh. here, Joe. Oh. Okay. okay. He's got side control. There we go. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Filo is he's got a chin. And now he's answered. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Just punishing him. Uh. That one there we go. Him. It's he's over. Hurt. There's no way. Oh. I should have knew that was coming. Oh, but he recovers. Joe, this building is electric. What a classic matchup. Nicely done. Posture's up. Elbows from the top. He's getting hurt, Mike. It's this over. Fight is close to being over. Bang. Over. Okay, and still. Vicious, a display of ground and pound that you and I have seen in a long time. That was very, very nasty. Nice one, Kendall. Official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Kendall, the spider. Oh yeah, 46. I looked it up, I didn't see it. Anymore. I think it's odd. I don't know. <clears throat> to be fair, though, some people do say, like, I don't know, RIP Joe Rogan in the way in chat and all that. RIP Brian Callum. So, and they're just jokes. Not very good jokes, but still. Coming up 
Young Randale, okay. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a boy. And now, introduced. And when the action begins, our rep. Vanderlei Silva, Kendall Grove. Round right. one is Let's underway. Fight. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. Good night, man. He's fighting with supreme confidence, unbeaten in countless straight championship fights. Thanks yeah, for coming he by. seems to be on a completely different plane from everybody else. He's facing a very strong challenger tonight, but the odds makers still have him as a distant, distant favorite. Ooh. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Wow, that right hand. And he oh, answers. Oh, but ah, he hold on. Careful now. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. Nice right Beautiful. Hand. There you go, got to land those flying knees. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. What an onslaught of attack here. Ooh, let's see if we can. Under three minutes now. Okay. Vanderlei Silva switches to the southpaw stance. Shit. Working the clinch game. That's all right. He gets a takedown. Uh, hello? No? Bullshit. And back to full guard. Hmm. Ah, I should have just gone out. Two minutes remains in round number one. You go now, you go. And now they're back to their feet. All right, careful now. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Big right hand, he's down. It's over. It's over. And it's all over. Wow. Man, that was nasty. <laughs> Fuck! We have a new. <sighs> oh, man. I knew I should have. And with our official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at three minutes. Knew I should have fucking minutes. shot for the of fucking the takedown. Declaring the winner by TKO. And now, the new. It wasn't even. It was 87. <sighs> Fuck off, man. Ah! That was a fucking good one as well. Man! Oh, I got too fucking eager to strike. Always bloody happens. Man, I wouldn't mind so much if you could fucking save, for God's sake. You know what I mean? Like, it takes forever. Ugh. Like, it actually takes eight hours. Oh. Well. <sighs> I don't know. I might try it tomorrow and I'll make sure that I can leave my PlayStation on. In that case, I'll do it in short bursts. Because doing this for fucking five hours, and then... Oh, fuck you, Vandalay! I really... It, I'm pissed off because I know I have to keep doing this. That's what bugs me. I have to do it. Because I know I can. I can't leave it. I know it's possible. And I've always wanted to get to 100. And I, I don't want to do it with anyone better because that's just, you know... I don't know. Why not do it with the hardest? That's, you know...
It's hard anyway, so make it harder. Which is fucking stupid, but it's the way I do things. Well, it's enjoyable, but it's just annoying when I lose. Like, it's really, it's really annoying because I've spent five hours and I fucking lose to... It's because of the way I fucking dropped, man. Uh... No, it's not as bad. Well, it helped me get past the bit at the end in the fucking, uh... When you go up the stairs, because I was struggling with that. Fuck, man. Oh. So annoying. Yeah, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I just... I could have beaten him. Like, I could have beaten him and I was a fucking idiot. That's why I lost. Oh, that's... That's so... Aggravating. Uh, it just... Yo, I wouldn't be so mad if I'd have just done an hour or two and then... Oh, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm not stopping till I beat it. Which is fucking stupid. I don't recommend anyone do it. To be honest, I don't really want to keep going, but also I do. I want to beat it. I want to beat it. It's the one thing I haven't done. I ain't got much else to do, so... Uh... <sighs> well, I'm heading off. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ty, for the donation. I know you're not here anymore, but thank you anyway. There you go. Uh, I don't know. I forgot about that. Oh, is that like a journeyman career? I don't know. Uh, let me know on Discord if you want. Alright. Oh, yeah, I could try it. Yeah, good night, everyone. Stay safe, take care. I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. I'm doing this again. Yippee! Good night, everyone.